The Confederate Soldier's Dream I have a dream, even though I'm looked upon as poor white trash by a wealthier white man, I dream that one day I too can own a nigger slave and make him work from sun up to sundown to fill my pockets. I have a dream that while the southern bells who are above my station would never entertain the thought of lying down with me, that like their fathers I dream that I can own a nigger woman to rape at my leisure. I have a dream that while sleeping with children is frowned upon by society, I dream that no one will care or even know if I subject my nigger children slaves to all manner of sexual depravity. I have a dream that when wealthy white men above my station mistreat me, I dream that I can go home, take out all my frustration and beat my nigger slave to within an inch of his life. I have a dream that when I go alligating hunting, I dream that I will have a constant supply of nigger babies to use as bait. I have a dream that when my rotten teeth fall out, I dream that like our first president, George Washington, I can take the pearly whites of my nigger slave and make myself some dentures. These are our dreams and why we chose to fight and die to preserve the institution of slavery. The route to world championship is a journey straight up from national champs. Without confidence, you are defeated before the heat. You can't take the heat, stop the bitching, and get the fridge out of the kitchen. With faith, we win from we begin. Work out weekdays with a straight up human race team and improve your personal best. Weekends for rest and cross country. For a drug free, crime free, corruption free environment, straight up 9 to midday, Mondays to Fridays. Indoors and outdoors, days and most nights, rich or poor, young or old. I'm your host, Robin Jerry Small. Straight up. But if it's required, we'll be on the front lane. You can call me by my name. I am ready to roll. Once the rules remain the same, now the story's been sold. Good morning, welcome to Straight Up for today and for this week. 10th of um, August, another another week. The 10th of August uh, 2015, and you know, we broadcast here from New Stock 93 FM. And this program is Straight Up. I'm your host, Jerry Small. Now, very similar to... Them, <clears throat> very similar to the situation with most of the population, but especially the young people in Jamaica not having a very clear idea or understanding of um, why we are in the situation that we are in. Well, the young people and the population in, in, in my youth had a better understanding, but they were not very similar to now. They were not um, they were not told of the what bring about the circumstances. So you have a similar you have a similar um, ignorance really. Similar ignorance of what really bring them to where where they are. Unlike that time, well very different from very different from that time. When there were just um 1962, you just had the Gleaner. Well, as a daily newspaper, you just had the Gleaner. And you had Radio Jamaica. And recently, just recently before that, just three years before that, another radio station was established. But that radio station was established almost like Jamaica Information Service, JBC, Jamaica Broadcasting Corporation, was established almost like a like uh, um 12 hour or well more than 12 hours but about eight hours, maybe about 18 hours uh, about 18 hours of gis instead of gis program lasting an hour or five five minutes jbc was like a uh, almost whole day whole night it wasn't 
I think they used to tune off at about midnight and start again at about 6 o'clock in the morning or 5 o'clock. JBC was like a Jamaica information service, you know. To inform the, the Jamaican people more and more, but from a government point of view, not so much like a commercial station like RGR. But little by little, especially since it was thought of in this special way to bring to bring more understanding or to bring a certain kind of understanding to the people about Jamaican culture and Jamaican life because JBC was started in that kind of way he used to expose a lot of Jamaican things play, plays and um, plays and Jamaican music and even part to our third more regularly well on Radio Jamaica, you know, used to have one and two shows from, from when I was a little boy where you used to hear Pat of being spoken, especially some comedy show. But not very much. Not not very much, yes. So it was roughly just two or three, just three daily sources of information and entertainment. Gleena and RJR, Radio Jamaica and JB, JBC, just three years before independence. He had weekly newspapers. He had several weekly newspapers and he had a star, which was an evening paper of the, of the Gleaner. But different from that now, you have many radio stations and you have two daily newspapers and you have, well, you do have so many weeklies now like one time. You have a few community newspapers. But for the past few weeks, for the past what? For the past 25 years or so, you yeah, have a growing number of radio stations reaching the high 20s. I years, I'd reach even 30. But you're going to see more and more now cutting down. Cutting down of the numbers of radio stations because radio stations can't stay active unless they get getting a certain amount of advertising money. So when you see Gina and, and Radio Jamaica link up, you know that um, a lot or some more that, that kind of thing going on. I don't radio stations being bought out by other radio stations or several radio stations closing down. So you're going to have a less, um, even though most of the radio stations now don't express public opinion, most of the radio stations now play music. Most of the radio stations play mostly music. Some of them put out religious opinion and about maybe half a dozen radio stations concentrate on giving out information, whether news or paid information or entertaining information. So since it's only advertising and advertising can really keep media or keep media alive and since it's only those companies that have good amount of money flow can buy advertising you're likely to have less and less you're likely to have less and less widely less and less widely reported public opinion in Jamaica over the next in the next in the future in the near future And advertising means that um, most of these sources of entertainment and information going to be aligned to do who can spend money. So uh, most people right now maybe rely on, on internet and them kind of way to, to get information. But half of the information on internet is gossip. It's gossip, but people take it. People take anything coming from the internet seriously so you know you have to exercise your mind more and more you have to exercise your mind and your intelligence and your skills more and more to really decide what information you're going to rely on and which information you're not going to rely on anyway you're not going to spend too much time talking my comments and opinion this morning and for that uh, matter of fact there were some text messages that um I forgot to read on Friday you know. 
And I want is just now realizing that I don't think I bring them here today. I don't want. Quite about half a dozen text messages that I really wanted to read. I don't think they will be still by tomorrow. Anyway, if we are having a phone call, can we run some numbers there, please? And then we start accepting some text messages. Straight up. For straight up, we have a choice of numbers. 702 3470. 702-2585. 702-2585. 9777637380. 9777637380. 12-3-1-888-991-5155. 12-3-1-888-991-5155. Digicel number 618-1823. Digicel 618-1823. All straight lines. Text line 899-7657. Text line 899-7657. We also stream live at www.newstalk93fm.com www.newstalk93fm.com We have any call here? Good morning, welcome to Street Up, hello? Morning, Jerry. Hi, welcome, Wagwan. Thank you, Steve. Now, we just celebrated our 53rd yeah, man, keep up the voice. 53rd independence anniversary. Yeah. And, and look here. Jamaica is also known, among other things, as the land of wood and water. Yeah. Now, rock your brain, look with me, and tell me how many countries in the world you know the capital city can only expect water every other day. The capital city where all the diplomats and in our case most of the people live. Yeah. You can think of any. And that's a verse but it's it hard to imagine. Yeah, and and one at a time we, we have to reach a point in a Jamaica where serious issues like these. We just decide our mind, or the government just decide their mind, and spend the money and fix something like that. You think uh, so? Yeah, cities, um, city, cities was invented and created around water supply. Yeah. That was the main, that was the main condition that was um, taken into account when cities was being invented and created and developed. All right. And look from when our city was created and invented and look from the expansion we're going from that time till now. Hmm? You have a man named Mr. Basil Fernandez say he had some head of some water resource authority from before me born. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. Eh, then nobody else no graduate from the university where he can do film work. Because eh? by the time me reach 12, me used to do regular water lock off in a Alman town. Uh. And me a one of the 1962 youth, them were reach 53 now, and look where you are and, and then you have one person in charge of the water authority from before me born. I don't think it's from before you born, but it's a long time. It no name water authority, it no name where it name now. But the same functions and thing a one person from before me born take it as me, I tell you. So tell me something now. In economics, you see? Yeah. In economics, the, the, um, the, economy, the, the, the economy of water is not a factor in our economics. Up to be, water is life. So, all right, since I know you talk with them all the while, what the, um, um, one of the, econ I don't know if it's like economics, because sometimes they describe me the paper as a, a right on financial matters. Yeah. But, um, Ralston, I'm on recently get a national honor. Yeah. You know that? Yeah. I'm get a national honor. 
because of him rolling uh, what because of what Re him rolling developing what the the, the policy hour well more as a financial analyst but the national honor is because of him service to who well they would say jamaica yeah you can get um, national honor because of service to the and to the public understanding you know. yeah. if, if you if you um if you make the public aware more of things that they need you cannot get honor for that or you can get a national honor because of your service to the government or you can get a national honor uh, because of your service to the labor movement yeah and different things so is which i don't know which which area them never they must get like a description out of of distinction for service to what what them how them describe it I'm not so clear that find out for me and also find out from him what his recommendation about water resources and water supply is because that must be part of economics. Find out that for me. I can't rely upon. I, I make I answer that before. No, but I want to find out from him because the government um, recognizes him service and out of distinction. Yeah, but and, you can't have growth without water. Yeah, but uh, that's a logic. But uh, I want to hear what his advice is about water resources and water economy. All right. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. We have any more call here? Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Go ahead, please. Hello. Yes, welcome, welcome. Yeah, Mr. Smart. Welcome. That, um, Ralston, I'm on. Yeah. You know, I'm not here for the man as a financial analyst. The man is a PNP activist, man. And no, no, that, no, that, no, that is in political, that might be, that is your political description of him, but... My, that, uh, Mr. Small, yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I am, I am kindly and respectfully asking you to retract that. Retract what? My political... No, I said, political. I didn't say you're political, I did not say, I said, that is your description of him, your political description of him, not your politics, you know. Your okay, political okay, description of him. Sir, but that is, that is, that is no, not... No, no, but that claim, Mr. That, that, that claim. Mm. All right. Um, Mr. Mr. Small, you think um, Dr. Phillips would have, would have replaced a, um, a loan that he borrowed 1% on behalf of his family with a, with, a, with a loan of 8% or 7%? Depends on, depends on if he can get the loan in, cut, get the loan cut in a half. And mm -hmm. all and, and at what, and at what, not the interest rate. And at, I'm not interested only in interest rate. No. I'm mm -hmm. interested in the rate at which you repay. The rate at which you repay and the interest rate is two different things. No. Then a 7%, Mr. Small. Hold on. Do you know that you have a rate at which you repay? Yeah. What that mean? That, um, all right. That, but the rate is, the, the rate, the, the rate of which you, you will be repaying the loan is 7%. No, that no, 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 no. Interest rate, interest rate is a different thing from the rate at which you're going to repay. If I borrow a thousand dollar from you because I... Yeah, I understand. No, I understand that. No, no, no. no. Well, no, no, no. listen, listen, listen. 7% no, in the interest rate. No, listen. We have to explain this so that the people who listen understand, or if they understand already, so that they agree. If I pass in a, I'm, I'm, I'm down a caribou crossroad and I see I go look for a movie. And I and I me and my lady are passed there and there's a reason to do we decide say, you know what, I could take it in the move, but I don't have no money for me. But you know say I will pay back and I borrow a thousand dollar from you or two thousand dollar for the tour we're going to the movie, right? Yeah. Until me pay back that money. You can charge me, say yeah, you hear me now. Until you pay back that money. I go and put interest upon it, you know, say ten percent a year until you pay it back. Right? Oh, yes, yeah. I'm no. Not, not. If me and you agree now, say, I go and go pay back that money $10 a month. Yeah. That is, what is what? When, when, the, when I go and pay you back the money $10 a month, what that is? It's, um, um, from, 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 uh, from, uh, $2,000. No, it's yes, I borrowed, I borrowed $2,000 at you, from you, but I, uh, we agree that I go and pay back the money, say $100 a month. What yes. rate, what rate that is? What you call that rate? That is 
That is um, 10%. No. That is the rate of repayment. What I, yes. that, is it, that is the speed at which I'm going to pay you back your money. Okay, but... If, hold on, but, hold on, hold on, you hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That is the speed at which I'm going to pay you back your money. But yes. if I take longer than a year to pay back your money, Okay, I 10% going go on upon the money. So you're going to owe me $2,200 if I don't pay back the money. That's a rate yeah. of interest. The rate of yeah. interest is yeah, yeah. different. Yeah, I understand. The rate yeah. of interest is different from the rate of repayment. That's two different. Oh. You understand me? So the 7% is the repayment rate? The 7% when I'm talking about, I don't know. I don't have the figures in front of me. So you have, you have, right. you have interest rate. And repayment rate. Yes, yes. So now, right. if you going to ask me if Dr. Phillips would uh, borrow them money at them the, at those terms for him family, I think he would have worked out both the interest rate and he would have also worked out how fast he's going to repay. It. So yeah, how fast he's he going to... He has a part of the family. You know, he not share that information with me. I must have classified information. Anyway, what, what, what did you really call it to talk about? The right. It's the right to stop. I realize that the right to do things that are wrong. Is even back with that deadly force, Mr. 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 Smart. Would you um, just see what is happening in our world? Because when a man comes to, to come um, like when Christopher Columbus go place to go conquer different parts of the earth, you realize I'm going with violence though. It's not something we're right, you know. Yeah? But in, in back that with deadly force. Why do you think people are different rights like them, Mr. Small? Just sit down and, and, and laugh and be gentleman about it. The, I don't think it's going to work. The people in the country where I'm come? No, I said, when Christopher, just like when Christopher Columbus got to conquer other places on earth, when he got there and used deadly force yeah. to make certain that he's successful, yeah. and even in today days world, even at Jamaica, I so, realized that... So no, you said that already. So the people who... The people who say how they must react, which people? The people who is being invaded are who? No. The, no, the people who are being invaded. Yes. Yeah? To defend their right not to be invaded. Yeah. Should they should they be gentlemen about defending their right or them shall use deadly force though? Do they have any deadly force? Uh, um well in a Jamaica we have deadly force. Who yeah. are, who have deadly force in Jamaica? Um we have we have the, we have the police force. No, that's not your deadly force. Well, I know that my deadly force. Um, we have we have we have some means of doing it, you know. And we know, we know because you know. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Well, on. Stop talking about theory you now. Let's talk practical. Who are you talking all right, about? Let's talk, all right, let's talk practical now. Who, who you talking? Here. You see, the political, um, the fighting of, of of political will upon us in a Jamaica that um, is, is only these two um, clubs, these, these two clubs must be the established order in Jamaica and it is being fighting upon us. Even if they are going to use people in the community to back them, we are going to tell us about this party to vote, vote for. We must resist that with our deadly force. Hold on, hold on, stop right here. So when they come in, to, when, when some of their supporters who live in your community Talking that you must vote for them, right? Yeah. You're going to use deadly force. It needs be. No, no, the whole house. Don't, don't take a long time. We're going to start all the balance. So therefore, when they come into you, or when them still over the yard and I show say, you must vote for my party, or when them going to the room shop and say so, or when them pass on the street and say so, what? No. They, what? No, 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 you, no. Like? you, you no, when them come in my yard and I decide to me have to go to the week. Who come in yeah. your yard? Who come into your yard? Mr. Small, I did not say anybody come in my yard. I, I know of cases yeah. where people go for people in them yard yeah. and say, you have to come at police station. Come yes. vote so and when, so when they come into your yard and insisting that you have to go to polling station, what you say you're going to do? No, may I use whatever force necessary to prevent that happening. No, is to prevent, no, what? Is no. it in deadly force? No, no to, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Just stay calm, because you can't. It's, it's pure emotion if you don't stay calm. Uh, Mr. Small, would, would you allow, would you allow me, would you allow me to have a little time? It, would you allow me a little time? Times, you know? Yeah, you know me, I got to an next call, because you know why? You hear me, sir. Welcome back to Straight Up. I'm your host, Jerry Small. Good morning. Hello, morning, sir. Morning, sir. Welcome. You're looking here now? Yes, sir. There's a 
Okay, Mount Rasa. You know this you know the big corner what them call man bump? What man call bump that a spur tree. No man, Mount Rasa in in, in coming to St. Alright, big corner, the corner with them widen extremely. Yeah, what them call man bump for you to Hold on, no, hold well on. I say if it's the corner that they have extremely widened a few years ago. Right, yes, that's a corner. Okay? There's a hole in the road. But it started last week, there was one hole, it, it is a, a jump pan can't hole in it. Alright? They put a jump pan in it so that you don't drop in the hole. And beside it, about two feet from it, or three feet, there's another hole the same size. And when you look through the hole, you can see a tunnel going to the, almost under the road. And, and then it sink. And the authority is not doing nothing about it. And they're not going to do nothing until probably it reaches up a million dollars for repair or somebody. Some debt happened there. Yeah. You understand? I mean, I understand them because it is there, when you come in there now, you know, and you know the truck them coming with the heavy load and stuff. And you yeah. see the, that part of the road, I tell you, it's sinking. And there's just two big holes in the road. I'm not, I'm not about it. Yeah. Until somebody go over there, the road break down, and some debt or something, and they see them start. These people are All right, active. tell me something. You, 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 active. you. You understand me? But don't you know that long time? Yeah. All right, no. You use the road regularly, you live now. Hold on, man. I don't know how to ask a question. You use the road regularly you live in that area? I live in St. Anne. So I oh. drive it regularly. Oh, yeah, you, yeah right. And um, you, you're making a report about it? No. I suspect they must see it. Well, hear this now. Mm -hmm. Although, although you suspect that they must see it, you think anybody should report it? No, I get a report after I call after I don't talk to you and I can call them. But that's something I'm call Wait, you. You know, you still ask me. Is that principle we are reason about it? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I say if you think anybody should report it. Well, yes and no. No, yes and no. How can you have yes and no? Or, no, or, or, yes, or, or, or can you mean yes and no? We drive there one hour. We're safe there, but no, them should have people who monitor in the road. No, but how can you um say you do, you think somebody should report it, but you don't think somebody should report it? You can't. I mean, yes and no. no. What do you mean yes and no? Well, in a, in a, in a sense, I'm going to say yes then. Because in a I, sense? I, I, I won't see if they in a sense, I'm going to say yes, and in another sense, what are you going to say? No, I'm going to leave the other one. Just say yes. Yes, so that means we must have one sense then. Right. All right. So, although it is so obvious and you said they must know, mm -hmm. when we're making decisions, we also have Respond. We just like them have responsibilities. So the first responsibility, if you really go and complain against them, first responsibility is to report it. Right. And um, and what you're doing, and, and bring it to the public attention, which is what you're doing, which is we good. Know, which, right. which is good. Which is good. Right. Thank you very much. You, all right. Make, you want to follow it up and tell me any later result, a week or two weeks time? Yeah, man. I'm going to call them. I just finished talking to you. I'm going to call them. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Huh? Uh, cool. Yeah. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Yeah, we. Welcome. Welcome. Well, go on. Fine, thank you. Did, did, did you watch in international news over the weekend? No. That 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 thing about Donald Trump when he was talking to a Donald Trump? The Donald Trump. Trump. Oh. When he was talking to a he was having an interview. Yeah. He said, you hear about it? When he was having an interview, he, I think he does about a hundred interviews a week. He was having an interview with a lady and he bring up a word. It, it, I think he didn't like the way the, the interview was going on with the lady. Yeah. And he said that the lady, the lady's eyes seem to have been blood. Yeah. And, and, and blood alleged to be over her body. No, him say, she seemed to be bleeding from her eyes. And to be bleeding from wherever else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. But what, what that, that? He was not the only one who said that to 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 to. to he, he was not the only the only politician said that. You know, it was said when P J Partisan was in power. One of P J Partisan ministers said it to a man over Portmore. You know. What did he say to the man over Portmore? Ask the man if it's that time after the month. That's not the same thing what Trump said. But it's a similar kind of thing. It's a similar kind of thing. Yeah. And I think Trump and Warmington went to the same high school. <laughs> Where you laughing? Yeah, yeah, I said, you said Trump and Warmington go to the same high school. Yeah, I think so. But why? Trump not easy though. Well, I don't think you should disrespect the lady like that, eh? Well, what him do there now, him, um, him put some obstacle in him way 
forget the nomination, although him, he was leading the other men them from the Fame Party. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So like how them out for move, or like how some people out for move wholeness. Yeah. Them probably would have said, them need a tougher, rougher man for lead the thing. And maybe Warmington and one day, well maybe one day people would have said, boy, you know, say Warmington and with a mash down, although Porsche him cousin. Yeah. You know, say Warmington, if Warmington and lead the jail, be made him could have mash down the PNP. But the way him behave. Yeah. It take out that thought out of plenty of people's mind. Yeah. So the things where you do can either help you along the way or them can humbug you. Yeah, I carry them. Yeah. Hello, yeah, look more. Thank you very much. Yes, sir? Yeah, man. Next one. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Small. Go ahead, please. Go on. How you going on, mate? Um, I reckon you and Trump and Warmington went to the same school as well, mate. Because you, you sort of suggest them sort of things when people bring things to you. It's a similar thing you do, old chap. I'm not a chap. <laughs> anyway, Jerry, you need to take it easy, man. See you on a serious note. When somebody's trying to have a conversation with you, you know, show a bit of, little bit of tolerance. You can't, not because the conversation is not going your way, you decide that that's the end of the call. I, I no, listen, 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 listen. That. I, I don't know if you I don't know if you notice how many minutes I gave to that caller. Extra I'm amount. Not Hold on. Well, you're not even not, you, you, but like him, you're not even allowing me to finish saying not even one sentence. Well, I you don't I don't say, okay, can, I, sorry, sorry. I oh, don't know yeah. if you notice how many minutes I gave that caller. And I don't know well, if you I don't know if you notice that we're trying I'm trying to go through step by step when people invade your space or your privacy. Um, at what rate or to what extent you should be able to resist them invasion and he was suggesting with deadly force and so on and step by step I was going through different scenarios whether it was somebody invading your country or whether as he suggested somebody invade your yard with political propaganda and even come into your yard on election day to force you to go out and vote and step by step I was trying to go through with him Say, so, yes, somebody come in here, yeah, and I try to force him to go out for vote. And I was trying to say to him, say, I was trying to get out from his sense, because I know him of sense. I was trying to get out from him sense so that the people would hear. Say, yes, you have authority to run somebody out of a yard or get them out of your yard. Okay. And, and I, would, I would have agreed with him that if somebody trying to dominate a yard, especially with political dictatorship, you would have right to use force to get them out of your yard step by step. But he would, he would neither answer the questions directly, nor would he allow me. After I listened to him at length, I listened out to all of him saying, and as, as soon as I start talking, over and over and over and over, he means chopping and chopping and chopping and chopping. How much time, after I give him extra amount of time, how much time, how long must this go on? How long? Let me just ask you one more question and then me ask. Is it fair to suggest that we have a... Jamaicans in Jamaica have a tendency, if you talk up for a particular issue on a party, you're automatically linked to the party. I don't think that's fair. So why you leave what you were talking about, the caller? The issue you were talking about me cutting out no, the caller? That's, why, why, that's why? immaterial. That's so, so you leave that, so you leave that, so hold on, so you leave that question behind then? Yeah, that's immaterial. This is more important. Yeah. If you, you, Jerry, you come on up today and you start cussing PMP, I'm not going to assume that you're, you're, you're supporting JLP. We need to stop this thing, man. People agree and people disagree. If you don't agree, it doesn't mean that you're supporting the other party. If my man get an honour, that doesn't mean that he's a supporter of the PMP. I Nobody agree. I don't know what he votes for. I agree with you. No. No, I, I um, the caller was saying that um, the water resources and, provi and provenance for Kingston is far less than desirable and matter of fact, it, is a, it reached a crisis here now. Now, I brought up that one of the people who advised the government, especially in economic affairs, must also address water as a resource because water is an economic factor and, oh, yes. and matter of fact you have to economize with water 
you need to use a water. So, so I, I, but, but as soon as, hold on, so I allow you to outline all what you're saying, and as soon as I'm getting into my point, you I'm are, sorry. you I'm want to cut sorry. me. What, what? I'm very sorry. Yes, so now I brought up that, that economist, because I know he has been nationally recognized as giving great service. And I'm saying since he is recognized as giving such great service, I would like to know what um, opinion and what advice he has been giving the government about water supply and water storage. Does that mean that I am putting him in a political bracket? I'm just asking, it. well, it's, that's what Jamaicans think, because the first because, thing they're saying... Yeah. Ralph and I'm in the PMP, and I don't care. But what I didn't. Say, but I didn't say that. I am saying he is well known in advice and economics, yes, and the government listen, and the government listens to him. Therefore, I'd like to know what advice him give the government about water storage and water supply. I must talk with them about that. I'm well, not. Uh, I, I'm not saying that I'm a PNP. Anyway, no. That you see, this, this water supply issue. Throw out your free land. Everybody entitled to free land issue, you know. Because if there's no infrastructure, you're so jumping. Look here, you're jumping all over the place with some with some big issues. And we can't discuss so many big issues in a three to five minute telephone card. All right, Mr. Small. Call back. I'll get back to you at a later day. Sir. Yes. All right. A later time on the same date. Thank you very much. Uh, Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello. Morning. Good morning, welcome to Straight Up. Go ahead, please. Hello? Hello. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, Mr. Small, my cock mark. Yes, sir, yes, down. yes, sir. Yeah, you're saying that um, when you when you ask me, uh, as soon as you start to talk, me start to talk to <clears throat> I don't, I, I try to make my point, and you interject asking question and I respectfully, Mr. Small, I think you should allow the, 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 um, the caller to make their point. They, just, they, they, they know you ask the question. See, like how I ask the question. When you ask the question, I give you an answer. Like how I call, I tell you, say, um, he will answer the question. Yes, sir, I know. And give the reason. You still ask him, say. But, um, but you're not answering the question. The man tell you. He say, yes, I should, um, should have reported, but no. Them have a duty to, to, to supervise the sea. Can you have... And, and that's an that's a, that's a all right answer. Can you... Can you, you. Can you yeah. have... Uh, um, ha, can you have a, the same answer? Can you have yes and no? As yes. The an yes. Yes. So I'm not allowed to finish answering the question. No, you have to have a yes and no. No, you can't, tell what I, you can't yes. tell me what I'm asking. You can't tell me what I'm asking. All right. You realize you go... You go, you go Exercise your dominance because you are the host of the program. But anyway, we want you to serious issue for the people then. No, hold on, hold on. Hold on a little. Mm. When somebody invade your yard and forcing you to go out and go vote, no, I say... No, I don't do that. I don't do that, Mr. Mr. I don't do with it. All right, all right. You know, no? Um, preventing one from accessing their fear share. Yeah? is one of the problems where, especially this country has. And the other day, I spoke to you about um, my nation, which is the African, my race, which is the African race, which happened to be here in Jamaica. I may have said something wrong with them, because of all them deal with one another. Yeah? And this thing... Well, uh, we, have to go. We, have to, we have to go for a break. Okay. Welcome back to Straight Up. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm saying um, this prevention of one accessing their fear share. Um, in a other societies, they are talking about because these are persons who well, well, become a travel outside of the country, but I realize by um, noticing how other societies put um, progress, like when I was in England, I realized how the, how the Indian them did one another, because they carry them one another, assist them one another to come in the country and give them access to, to um, um, we are called channels of uh, economic empowerment in order to strengthen them race. We find my race kind of blocky blocky, you know. Them love black people, you know. Just stand up in your way and, and give some, some, so, some, well, and, uh, some unnecessary, so some, some illogical excuse. All right, so some, tell you, so them well, like all the things where you are doing. All right, hold well on, hold well on. Yeah. So, so something wrong with the race then? Yeah, something wrong with my race. Okay, what is it wrong with something your wrong race? With them. What wrong with and your even, race? Uh, 
Um, now tell you one of the things wrong with them. Yeah. Just like you, Mr. Small, you take, you take offense to me saying things like this. And that's one of the greatest problems with them. Of Carl, you know, if you want to identify the problem, so the so 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 race is... And, 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 and he aims to fix it. There the, will never be a solution. So the, the race is defective then? Mr. Small, Mr. Small, I, I don't know what, what you would call it. But me see something wrong with the way of we, we pass that. wrong now. We pass we, we pass wrong. We pass I'm wrong. Saying, no. Hold on. We, hold on. We pass wrong. You agree that something wrong with the race. I'm on now asking if the race is defective. Um me no know. Me no know. Let me explain what me, what me I say. And you come to your conclusion. Um other races. Look on all the Caucasian races, like everything what them I do. Them allow one another to, 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 to progress and um and give them free way of practicing that them become some of the most well known people in the world. And you see, especially all when people from our race get involved, you realize that them them are mediocre to them. But in our race now, especially like in a Jamaica now, the greatest set of people and with them natural abilities. You have to have some political links, some you have to in a some you have to in a some you have to some in a some um some deviant circle where them have some 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 bad intention in order for, for, for you get your way. And anyway, hold well well on, hold on a minute. Move and well well on a minute, hold well on a minute, hold well on a minute. People with the greatest ability to get them. All right, hold well on a minute. Between the time we are given before we went for the break and the time mm -hmm. where you get after you come from the break, you've gone way over the time of a... No, of, it's my time expire, man. Give time. You, you, not, you, can't, you can't allow me to finish speak. You can't allow me to finish speak. Hello, are you there? You yeah, can't? I'm here. Yes, I say. Between the time we are given before we go for the break and the time where we get after the break, you get way over the average time where the average caller get and I allow you almost you alone to go and talk. But only, I, I learned from you now that you said that there's something wrong with the African race. Okay, thank you very much. Next one. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Mall. <laughs> Where are you going? I would there. Uh, look here. Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah. The other day I said to you that we get the lead as we deserve. Are you going to say it too? Yeah, among other people, yeah. And, and, um, sometimes you think that uh, the kind of the Jamaican people have a way where I look for a general for be the leader. Yeah, uh, the general, um, character is, is probably the most admired, the most admired, um, attribute in Jamaica public life. Yeah, but, but you see, the thing is now, when the people elect, a general as a leader, because they might look somebody where we let her something pan. Ex that, is ex that, is the ex that is the exact terms. Looking for a general, because you know so the general will understand that you forget something. All right. But guess what now? Most time it turn out that the general is so general. Yes. As the first person where I'm general. Yeah. Is the person we are look something from the general? Bigger general. <laughs> Big, bigger general. That is why one politician had to explain to another politician, I'm not a fish in here. I'm a whale. Yeah. It's not that he was telling the other politician that about any sexual preference. You know? But he was telling him that what? I am much bigger than you. Yeah. Because a long time I are growing here. Yeah. Yeah. So if him can, so therefore the politician also is making the vote and no say, you are trying to make a deal with me, but when I done with you, yeah. you don't even know say it's your tax, and you may have a tax, and take away all your money and give you one, one party. Yeah, Ex exactly. That means that, me, 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 me tax you all $10,000. Yeah. But out of the $10,000 I give you a party. A party, but... I feel so good. No, but what I do, me, what me do, me give you the party first. Yeah. And show me give you the party first. Yeah. You lay down. Yeah. Me give you the party and you lay down and say, do me anything, man. Kill me, murder me, man. Yeah. Yeah. Precisely, I give thanks. Thank you very much. Good morning, welcome to Straight Up, hello. Yeah, hello. Hello, sir. Yeah, sure, good morning, man. Fine, thank you. 
you go, you go the whole time, man. The first thing I can see, but we always start buck up on the street and talk, you know? That's great. Yeah, man. Now you're bridging the clock in about you. You're a master, Jerry. Yes, sir. Them, them, them things that were... With them polit politicians, you know? Them not for just... Them not for just... Them, them can't get them things together and just cool and stop me from full food publication and that, that disgrace themselves more than you know? You think them going to do that? No, sir. They're not going to do it. Well, don't, well, don't waste... <laughs> eh? The wish for the Nagodi. No, but don't waste your time with the wishful thinking. Okay, sir. It better spend your time wishful thinking for your children. Okay, sir. Because yes. at least, or your grandchildren, because at least you will buck them up every now and again and might be can influence them. Okay, sir. You okay. Know? So we yes, have... Jerry, another thing we do ask you, Jerry. Yeah. Hey, you, you're a whole man piece of land on and over there between, between Washington Taylor Park and, 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 and Langley County. Yeah. yeah. It's still down there? Yes, sir. No, land, land no move, you know? No, I mean, you know, still control the property there? No, no, old man, man can only own things when they're alive. Okay. So once you're, once you're not alive, you know, own it again. Okay, sir. And then now, you understand? Yeah. Yes, sir. Hey, Chuba passed down the last week and I'm going to show my wife it's uh, a your place. You know, no, don't, no, don't tell her, her don't tell her, no, don't tell her that, don't tell her that, no, 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 go so. Okay, <laughs> all right, Jerry, anyway, big up yourself here, sir, and keep going, do the good day, okay? Thank you very much, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Next one, good morning, welcome to Straight Up, hello. Jerry, my brother, how you doing? Fine, thank you. Hi, right, man, respect. Two quick things. Yeah. As a former GLP counselor, caretaker. Yeah. A long time. Well, you know, I mean, from my view, most to the right view, I want everybody to their own view. But in the public side, the behavior of the leader of the party, he might try a simple plain Jamaican term. He might try and the big man like boy. Yeah. I give him letter for this and that. And no, 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 hello, hello. Yeah, man. If you're talking to the public, you can't talk about giving a letter for this and that. Talk what him give them letter about. Yeah. Resigna letter of resignation. Yes, yes. To sign and then take. You understand? But he did do it. No, of course, uh, you know, we're saying he did do it. And they did uh, sign it. Yeah, well, 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 there you go. No, you mean him can't do it. Yes, sir, and the big people. Yeah. Sense of liar that, and doctor. And it no matter. No, but, uh, uh, but you are saying that them is big people. You are saying that them sensible. Yeah, you, of course we're sensible people. But if but if them sensible how them take them sign them letter? Yeah, but that is the other question again, you have to wonder sometimes. No, you're talking two different things. You're telling uh, me that them not sensible. You should be sensible, I mean, assume that you're sensible people. Then you, you assume, but after you find out what going on, you're, you're going on, you still are calling them sensible? Yeah. Uh, well, you put me in a dilemma, right? It's not a dilemma. I, 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 I act fine trying to see if you have sense. Yeah, you're right about that. Because... But all I'm saying is mm. the behavior of the man. Yeah. Some people said to me last week, yeah. oh, I'm going to go one and two persons out there. And said, boy, sad. <laughs> the people have not support the party because the behavior of the leader. And such and such and such. Yeah. Now, I'm not active anymore. But, you know, you have your ears out there to the ground and people talk to you. Yeah. And Jamaican, and not blind people, you know. Them not so fool fool. Sometimes they wear them, them react, you wonder, sometimes. But them not a fool fool. People out there have sense. Apparently. Apparently. Uh, well, you can say, ah, oh, is not well. Meeting every minute. You only have 30 seconds, you know? Yeah. And some people are saying, them going to, and some people say, them not going to. Another quick thing, Jerry. When Lambert Brown is on the program at evening time, and Ralph and I am on his here, them use the term, oh, we, the government. So one has to assume that Ralston Ayman is a PNP. Straight. When you talk, you know, us, Lambert Burn is one. So, you know, when you say us and we, the But you know, say a time expired, though. You know, you know, me know that. Me Call know back that. again after 10 o'clock. Nothing wrong with that, my brother. Respect. Thank you very much. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up, hello. Yeah, morning, Bongo Man. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, man. Civilized. Yes, sir. I, I want to know if, 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 um... The merger between um, the Gina and Roger. TVJ. Yeah. What, 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 what effect will it have on your 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 station? What effect it will have on my station? Yes. Left to be seen. What are you talking? Economics or news wise or what are market share or what? Overall. 
overall. Well, it left to be seen. Like, there's a social science, you know. That means is people, is how people behave going to make, determine that. Economics is a social science, you know. Yes. Social science means it's not like a, like a pure science, like, 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 we, like what happens when water touch sulfur. Yeah. It's social science, it depends upon how people depends behave, maybe. behave and react, so. Okay. So, you have to just watch it and see. Yeah, watch and see. You, you can expect certain things, but it don't must that happen. Yes. Yeah. Um, what more thing? Support them with a like by this station too. Oh, yes. Yeah. But, but, but you wouldn't have the privileges like, like what you're having. Like what you're having now. Which privilege? Well, well maybe them cut out a lot, of, a lot of programs. Yeah. Because they must say that you know, they have the big target. You know. If they buy out your station, it means that they have the big target. You know. mm. So they can say, cut out that station, there. cut out that yeah. program, there. cut out that one, there. you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, that will, and that will spoil you. So you are fretting? No, I'm not fretting, I'm, I'm just concerned. Yeah, I'm not insulting you, know. I'm, I'm, I hear the concerns. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm not afraid, man, but yeah. you know what I mean? Cause you have to watch things and see how things work. You know. Yeah. But I'm just concerned. But me and you can't stop General Motors and Toyota from joining up together, you know? No. Especially like how me and you know, make car. True. What you can do is don't buy no Toyota or don't buy no General Motors car. True. But me and you alone, that two car where we now go buy, that alone not going to swing the market. Yeah. But, but um, the whole thing now, we have to find things to do. Yeah. Effectively. Or, otherwise, you're not living. True. One more thing. Come on. I want to know if, 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 if some people in the JLP have sense. Yeah. Some? You might have can find some in the absence, I don't know. Yeah, because, well, them don't know that you, 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 have, you have to have patience in the way you're doing things, you know, you have to have patience. Because what they are doing now is showing up the party and make them look like, all of them look like idiots. Yeah. Eh? Them, them, them things say, what, what no. they are doing? We're out of time, but what I think happening is that they're getting away with suicide. You ever hear people get away with murder? Yes. Well, they're getting away with suicide. That, that is so. 10 a.m. headline news. All right, thanks. Good morning. With the latest headlines, I'm Kayla Wright. A fruit vendor was this morning killed and other persons injured when a state-owned bus crashed into a building in West Parade in the vicinity of Orange Street in downtown Kingston. Neither the identity of the vendor nor the number of persons injured has been determined. However, eyewitnesses say the driver of the Jamaica Urban Transit Company bus appeared to be having difficulty steering the vehicle before it struck the vendor, then plowed into the shutter of a building adjacent to a restaurant. The St. Elizabeth Parish Council and its leader, Mayor of Black River, Everton Fisher, have earned high praise for what has been described as their creative initiative in opening a new poor relief office in the south central town. Built at a cost of $3.5 million, the new office on Institution Drive beside the St. Elizabeth Infirmary was formerly opened last week. The funds came from the Parish Council's sale of prime real estate close to the Santa Cruz Commercial Center site of an old rundown building which previously accommodated the poor relief office as well as the local Red Cross Center. The Minister of Local Government and Community Development, Noel R. Scott, has joined Member of Parliament for St. Elizabeth Northeast, Raymond Price, in suggesting that the new facility, which will also accommodate the Red Cross, reflected the desire to care for those who need it most. Members of the security forces have been killed in a series of attacks in Turkey amid rising tension between the government and, Tur and Kurdish militants. In southeastern Sernak province, four police officers were killed by a roadside bomb and a soldier died when, a, when gunmen fired on a military helicopter. In Istanbul, a police officer was killed in clashes after a car bombing. And the city's U.S. consulate was attacked by two assailants. A 
leftist group had said he'd carried out all the attacks. And those are the stories making the latest headlines. News next at 11 o'clock. Stay tuned straight up with Jerry Small continues. I'm Kayla Ride. Welcome back to Straight Up. I am your host, Jerry Small. I'm going to have some text message before. So get back to the phone, please. Next one. Jerry, the parson John Crows must be fighting over who should preside over the caucus of the JLP after tomorrow meeting. Next one, Jerry. But Robert, no easy. He want we the Jamaican people to mind them past prime ministers for life. So what them do with the money we pay them? Him lick him head, read the observer, which, which Robert that. I don't read the observer, I wonder what I'm talking about. Next one, Jerry, what happened to Mr. Borrell of the People's Political Party? Can you update me about the party progress? Next one, good morning, Mr. Small. We have no water in Vineyard Town since last Thursday, huh? Next one, Bongo Jerry, no afraid for no boy. If them touch you, we blind them. Keep up the good work, big up. Next one, greetings, Jerry. I do an excellent job. I listen to your show every day from Barbados. Very informative. Keep up the good work. Straight up from Carol Teach, Judah. Oh, yeah? I don't know if I'm the same teacher me I think about. I think so. Thank you very much. Next one. Mr. Small, what are the benefits of a person receiving a national honor? Well, one of the benefits is more recognition. Next one. Jerry, I'm not lying, but when Garnet on the evening program, he tends to agree with Lamy and Ral that everything Chris in Jamaica, all this water issue, his tone, his tone would be that the government is doing a great job as far as water issue is concerned. For other listeners, can attest to this. Well, that's why I'm listening with interest to hear what advice Ralston Iman give about water supply and water storage um, resources and all that. That's a part of economics. Next one. Jerry, tell me something. You don't tie it for your gun at three and four times a day. Tell him to take a break now, okay? Let's get back to the phone. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Hello? Welcome, welcome. Yes, good morning. Welcome. Um, you know, we are we are a great country and it's time now we start moving our minds. Not the majority moving their minds into the positive aspect, joining us in the positive aspect. Because I want to look at the educational situation. Our nation needs to be moving. We are moving, yes, but we need to be moving more rapidly in the um a hundred percent um compliance in, in our education standards for all our citizens, including garbage men, because more and more the call is crying, getting stronger. They want the Singapore model. And one of the things that Lee Kuan Yew did was to educate the social nation across the board. Even the fire, uh, the garbage collectors or the environmental workers had to get a university education, and I think that is important. But one of the things we want to get is the end sync of the persons getting in the profession of teaching at all level up to the tertiary level because there's this enormous greed for money which is creating too many barriers for the the the, the, the low income earners to have their children um fully educated uh in a wholesome way and i think the the ministry of education doing a fantastic job but he needs no more than ever to 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 visit every single institution from basic. Hold on, hold on a little. Mm. When you call here, you don't call to discuss something. Yeah, man, I'm discussing the education. No, you're education. not discuss. You one person can't discuss something. Oh, you want to say? Yeah, right, go ahead. No, but when you call here, you don't really call to discuss something. You just come to um, deliver. Uh, 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 no, me call to discuss. I am listening. Discuss. You did say something about the garbage man in my while ago, you did say? Yeah, I said it leaked when you went to the level of even the garbage No, man. before that, just not, not when you're talking about leak when you did mention garbage. Before that, you mentioned garbage man. Yeah, I said we need to have them also educated to the, up to the, to, to the highest level of, of, of our society. Then what about the garbage woman, them? Uh, garbage collectors, I said. Garbage collectors. No, you said garbage man. Okay, garbage collectors. All right, let us think about it. Thank you very much. Next call. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello? Morning, Mr. Smart. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing, sir? Fine, thank you. All right. In, in Falmouth, 
when you pay bill, then bill a big tank across the road here. Yeah. And and over some alien community. You know. Water tank? Water tank, man, to fill up the big ship then. It never run out yet. Yeah. So, me I think if them build a place like that, beside the rivers, you know, we're not going to them far. Where we can pull up these tanks, not using them when water is abundant. You don't think we'd have a little extra catchment? In a Catch, time like this. Catchment or tank? A tank, tank, yeah. yeah. Use some tank, some You mean extra tank. storage? Use the money and build some big tanks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beside the rivers, we don't have to pump the water too far. And fill them up, keep them, keep them. Yeah, yeah, yes, man, I agree, water. yes, yes. Like oh, when the ships them come, they never out of water yet, you know. Yeah, but, yes, we agree, yes. Yeah. So, if the old Jamaica run now, you know, Mr. Small, we have a leader, you know, we are telling you, she have a tongue guard to tell her. You have know. a leader? Yeah, man, that's what the Prime Minister says. Say, no, I, 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 you is not she, says, it's not she, it's not she, says, so. It's not she, says, so. You just said that you have a leader? No, man. You, you did say so? Well, well, if I say so, I'm saying that we, yeah, I, you see, she's my leader, so. Oh, yeah? She's leading the country. Yeah. And we have a man that come on a program and say, if them dig out some place in the cockpit country, now nah, we'll disturb anything. So we have people like these running Jamaica, you know. Yeah. So you can see, we have people on TV that are telling that when they what is, what is part of the cockpit country, not now nah, go happen. Yeah. No people on Everything. TV. No, no people can talk anything, you know. But but who do you, who do you listen to as as be as giving sensible leadership? I don't 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 ask. I don't don't ask. I don't don't ask. I don't don't ask. Hello. I don't don't ask. You know. I don't don't ask. I don't don't ask. Alright. I say who do you look to as giving sensible leadership in terms of public affairs and and um and and resources and that kind of thing. Who you look to for leadership? Well, I really don't have to look to anyone, really. But I'm saying that there was a there was a program, and there's this big reputable man there with the big professors thing, and he's saying that because he's a backside man, and he want the that, that natural resource. He's showing that when them dig some place in the Catholic country, he must show you logically where nothing not go up, you know. But you said that already. You know, I think he was going to say something new. I think he was going to answer my question: Who you look to for leadership in? When you when you want to know what is the best direction to take in this thing about what and them thing, you boy don't answer ask, answer no. Who, who you who you would look to and rely for leadership and the guidance on these things? Who you would do? Are you there? Why why why, why I'm leaving? No. Next one. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Hello, good morning, Mr. Small. Welcome, sir. How are you? Yeah, much respect. Mr. Small, yes, you're a married man, right? Yeah. On average, you see? Mm. Statistics have shown that married men live a better quality life than single men. Is that true or false? If statistics have shown that, yes, it's true that statistics have shown that. But that yeah. you, you want to know if it's really true or if it's just statistical. You, you believe that? If I believe that them, them live a better one? Quality life than single men on average. You mean material quality hour? Quality in terms of material, sexual, everything, man. Oh, materially. I yeah. don't know, I never really do a survey. I never really do a survey or, 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 or check, or, you know? Yeah, but internationally it has shown that married men live, a bit, live longer when they when they married to their spouse. Men I, live no, yes, I hear, I, hear, I hear that statistics show, say, married people, not just men. Yeah, married men and women. Say so married people um, have a longer, have a longer life expectancy. Yeah. All right, now, Mr. Smart. On Friday, see? Yeah. When the stock market closed, the Greener Company shares went up by 17 percent. Yeah. And the RGR shares went up by 14 percent. Yeah. Because of their their engagement. Yeah. Because it's a big wedding coming up, you know. Yeah, yeah. And it's sending a lot of jitters through the news media because a lot of good people are going to get hurt. Good and people? Some, yeah, a lot of good people are going to get hurt in get, terms get, of yeah. lo losing their work. Them work, yeah. And losing their share value in other radio stations because 
the advertising going to come mostly to these two entities. Because you know everybody just in for market share. Yeah. But when you listen to Oliver Clark, he's telling you that they had to get married to live longer. Yeah. Because companies like Digicel and Lime, which is a which are a foreign entity, is controlling the media market. Mm -hmm. So I'm just asking you that. Because the Jamaican people need to realize that in times like these, where resources are getting scarce, it is better for us to come together in order to live longer and yeah. live better quality life. Yeah. Because there's no new money printing in a Mr. Small. So tell me something. The people who come together and live together for their entire lifetime. You see? Can you hear me? Yes, Mr. Small. The man and woman have come together and live together for their entire adult lifetime and stay together, but them don't marry. What is their life expectancy? Well, I've never done any research on that. Yeah, I don't but think... I guess I, if they come together and have a common understanding, yeah. whether they're married or not, exactly. it's the better for both parties. So it's united people have better life expectancy, not necessarily married, united. Yeah, exactly, Mr. Small. Yeah. So the Jamaican people need to take stock of that, you know. Because the Greener Company and RGR collectively just got 31% richer. Yeah, yeah. It's like you're playing a poker game yeah. and a man back raise you. Yeah. For the same money in the pot, you know, Mr. Small. Yeah. If so you... the share of the Jamaican pie has just gotten bigger. Yeah. So we need to straighten up our communities and come together. Yeah. For a better life expectancy and better qualities of life. Yeah, man. Take care of you, Mr. Small. Thank you very much. And keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Next one. Good morning. Welcome to Street Up. Hello. Yes. Welcome, welcome. You, Mr. Small. Welcome, sir. I am calling out of South Sri Lanka. Yeah. From in the Warsaw area, wait a bit area. Oh, yeah. From the Alpha Island settlement. Yeah. First, I want to let you know, Mr. Small, that to me, your program is the most positive talk show in Jamaica. Yeah. I listen to you every day and I consider myself your number one listener. Oh yeah. You so small. Yeah. What I am talking about, sir, I don't like the moping of people calling in with complaints. Yeah. Yet they have no kind of their own and no solution. And they cannot outline the problem they have and what they can do about it. Yeah. I am calling you, Mr. Small, to tell you that I am 68 years old. Yeah. I was born on this outside property, the outside land settlement. Oh, yeah. So, children, it might sound way off, but there are 63 constituencies in Jamaica. Yeah. So, children, I believe, deserve to be an independent constituency and independent from whatever authority there is. Because we in South Trelawney, as far as Jamaica is concerned in development, we are not dependent on no government, no capitalist, nothing. We depend on ourselves here to survive. No matter small. I just want to say to you, sir, that we have no unemployment in South Trelawney. Oh, yeah. We have no salary issue, no tax issue, because we can provide employment for anybody in the other 62 constituencies to come to South Trelawney and you'll be paid. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, we yeah. can employ, we have employment, sir. The beauty is a small of South Chilean when you get up in the morning from 5.30 or 5 o'clock. Every single young man, I'm saying this to any fear of contradiction, will be racing to the field with a machine or the fork, whatever tool, to go and produce. But the employment field that you have is in the yam production. Tell anybody around Jamaica, I'm telling them because I'm right here in the food basket, the yam basket, that if you are out of a job, you can even beg a right to South Trelawney. All right, hold on, hold on. Tomorrow and the rest of the week. All right, hold on, no, no, hold on. 
Yes, sir. Um, uh, you, are you in the division where Mr. Pat, Mr. Pat Moore is the representative? Yes, I'm about just about six miles down. No, but, you're not, but, but, but yeah. you're not in that division, though. Yeah, not, not, hey, no, I don't have much time now. We don't have much time, so we can't talk long. Um, right, so, right, so, right on the line, Mr. Smart. All right, Mr. so, Smart. all right, so, oh, are you going, to, are you and the other people down there going to develop a, develop a strategy and a plan and a project that yes, if and when Mr. Patmore have to stop representing the area, yes, the constituency, could still be represented by somebody who is independent of the party because you have to go have an economy you know, because Mr. Patmore is fairly independent as a successful businessman who started business from him a teenager. Yes, I know Mr. Small, I know you are dealing with him. All when you came here, I yeah, yeah, but, uh, right Yeah, yeah so how are, you going, how are you going to develop a plan now that um, the constituency can be represented by somebody independent? You have to have an economy or some kind of thing to support that person that that um, the people, you know, that that person can really represent. Anyway, we don't have enough time for going at. But yeah, call, call Mr. again. Small, I'm going to tell you briefly. No, call. Briefly. Yeah. yeah. Just one got? last thing. What I'm saying, sir. Our young production want to produce here, sir. We need a market for it ourselves. And we want the license to be granted to the people who produce. Because we are producing independent of any private sector government. And yet we are denied the opportunity to get this export license for our product. That's all we need here. We get no subsidy from any government or private sector loan. We are independent people who need. All right. I need to, I need to hear back from you that we can talk some more. Right? I'm going to talk to you, Mr. Small, and I have other things. So all I right. Your time is limited. Yeah, man. Thank you very much. Yes, but, sir? Yeah. We're going, we cannot go on about time, but we're going to run the numbers now because we really need to make the place available. I need to hear back from that person and from that area. Straight up, let's run the number. For straight up, we have a choice of number. 702 702-3470. 702-3470. 702-2585. 702-2585. 977-7638. 977-7638. Toll free line one eight 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 nine nine one five one five five. Toll free one eight 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 nine nine one five one five five. Digital number six one eight one eight two three. Digital six one eight one eight two three. All straight lines. Text line eight nine nine seven six five seven. Text line eight nine nine. 7657. We also stream live at www.newstalk93fm.com www.newstalk93fm.com Welcome back to Straight Up. I'm your host, Jerry Small. Hello. Good morning. Welcome. Yes, yes sir. Indeed, brother Jerry. Yes, sir. Welcome. That whole English chap. Yeah. I think he should join Mr. Bean, you know. Mr. Bean is on a tour of the world. I believe he's in New York even as we speak. Oh, yeah. Indeed. I think he would add something quite useful to Mr. Bean's tour, eh? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Could bring a little along for the ride. Yes, yes. Jerry. Counting down to the Je September 7 election in Trinidad. Yeah. Boy, I tell us something, you know. When a party in government is under pressure, they will go into the gutter and do mud flinging. By the way, the UNC own internal poll is showing that they are 10% behind. 11%, sorry. Uh -huh. Can you imagine? Yeah. Well, I see a female journalist over in Trinidad that has come out of the woodwork and has accused the opposition leader of making some inappropriate, suggestive comments to her on three occasions. Mm -hmm. What is interesting about this girl is that she came to she went to the man's home in January. Yeah. And he made some suggestive comments to her. Yeah. She went to him home. 
Yes, for an interview, sorry. For, what kind of interview? Uh, interview to deal with political matters and current affairs. Oh. At, at the time. Yeah. And she had that experience, and yet, Sometime later, a few months later, she returned for yet another interview and she is saying that she had um uncomfortable experience with him and what he was saying to her. Uh, three and different yet yeah. and yet again she went for a third occasion yeah. and she had never uttered a word about any of these expressive comments yeah. or reported to any authority. So till election coming on the seventh of September now she's coming out with these allegations. Yeah. This is most extraordinary. Yeah, yeah. She go, she go on. Maybe she, maybe she just go and go and go. If, if a man, had, if a man had beat up a woman, should the woman return into the home, into private conversation with this man, and and not one but two, three occasions? Or maybe that sting operation. The court of public opinion jury need to flush this one where grass don't grow. Mm. I gather that there. The opposition leader lawyer is starting through the matter to see if they can deal to it. Yeah. But for a journalist to really come out in this way, Jerry. She's a, she's, she's a, she's a journalist? A, a reporter for the, so, the Express. So the she has resigned oh, from the Express. Okay, so the interview she went to was to get her to publish in the paper, not an interview for a job or, or anything like that. No, not at all. Uh -huh. She was doing journalistic work. Yes, 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 yes. But the fact that she returned and two other yes, yes, that are, yes, that alone suspect. They need to flush this one in the court of public opinion. Where grass don't grow. All right, thanks, here, sir. Desperate measures, eh? Yeah, man. Indeed. A few more text messages. Next, next one. Jerry, the, the National Water Commission is the biggest pimp in this country. They can't even fix a leaking pipe. Shame on you in, in the NWC. Next one. Yeah, Jerry, I hope Andrew and the shower see the opinion of the people, read the Caribbean Court of Justice. Bless from ja, from Jati G. Saint Anne. Next one. In the US state of Puerto Rico, well the US, Puerto Rico is not really a state. I think it's a commonwealth a commonwealth of the United States. I'm not sure though. But it's not a state. In the US state of Puerto Rico, some schools have to close because of lack of water. It's not Jamaica alone. Next one, Bongo, Jerry, Bongo, Jamaica has almost 3 million people, yet we end up with clueless holiness as leader of the opposition. Sorry, state of affairs. Uh, out of him and the Prime Minister, I don't know which one, which one um, provide, I don't think none of them not really provide no leadership except for them political campaign. Next one, in Birmingham, in Birmingham some got nothing to do. Dominoes and white rum. There are some who lived there for a long time. Is a bit behind time. Leonard seemed to be one. That's where Miss Birmingham. The English guy we call all the while. All right, we have another call here. All right, let's go for a break and come back straight up. Yes, welcome back to Straight Up. I am your host Jerry Small. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Jerry. Welcome, sir. Well, a long time in the AI. A true man. In on the phone. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, man. I want to tell you thanks for um, keeping my company for the holiday. Oh, Thursday gone. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I, yes, I. Um, you know, so I see the youth there um, where I ride the bike where, and the policeman in an incident there. Eh? You mean West Milan? Yeah, man. Yes, yeah. He, was he arrested? Yeah, yeah, he arrested. I, I, him get bail, him get bail um, Friday. Yeah, what what him have to say? And and I started the the, the policeman Barry and tried them get bail. Oh. And can you imagine Jerry the police them the man tell me say the police them about poor police come down there check him. Come down to where? Them home? To my cell at in his cell when they Oh yeah? Threaten him so yeah, what? Man. Threaten him so what? Yeah, I threaten him now and say them them they will kill him man. For what? The the, the accident for the accident for so yeah, um, normally, if police, um, if somebody have some information that is damaging to a policeman, or that kind of way, I wouldn't be surprised to hear threats. But what is it? How come in a situation like this now you would be hearing threats? Right? 
Well, I saw him say, no, said him coming there, threatening down at the cell, you know, and when me ask... Oh, which, and which, and which, station, which, which station, which station, which station him lock up, you know? Sav Lamar. Sav Lamar? Yeah. And when you ask, what? Yeah, man, and so my advice, my, my advice to him right now, Jerome, I tell him, say, better him not stay where he used to stay. Mm. Yeah, it's better him um, stay out of the area. So... I don't know the right, I you know, and all oh, him say help me now, Jerry, him say, um, I come him, I come in and the police did you know, and stamp off of him with it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, man. So, him say only thing him know after the police stamp off of him that him drop and he bridge in the pan, he back drop. Yeah? And him all, yeah, and him find himself, when him, him find himself in our yard, oh. Oh. as he went kind of um, black out, you know, because he lose a lot of blood. Oh. Yeah, man, so he, he said next thing he find himself now and yeah, that's the police, I'm um, take him. Mm. I take him? I take him up, yes. So it's like, me, but what me hear still, me hear the, um, the woman for the yard now call police when they see him. Call police for what? I don't know what they what they see him in the yard, they call the police. No, why, I'm rich, I'm rich into the yard. People. Run him, run, 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 him, run him, run off, off of the scene, run him, run. Oh, him, run? Yeah, I'm going run off of the scene. So after that, when him black out? When him black out? Before or after? After, when him in the, in the, in the yard. That's why him black out. That's oh. why he dropped now. Oh. So why him run? Well, me ask him, but I say, you don't know how come him just start running, you don't know him. So, uh, so, so, I yeah. panic, I see a panic still now. All right, yeah, panic. Okay, the, the other person, the pillion there now. Where the pillion? Run to. And him going to the same yard? No, different place. Him got different place. All right. Well, just like how you wanted him to be very careful and be aware. Um, the pillion also should be very aware then because he's a, he's a key witness. Yeah, well, I'm not see the pillion. Only him missing. Even though he's not charged. And, and, and people should know him identity. Yeah, yeah. Because if you hide yourself, not really protect yourself in them thing. When you say hide yourself, hide, hide the identity. But can you imagine in Jerry, what, what if what if uh, the police went kick him off a bike and I'm dead? I mean, yeah, me, yeah. Me, well, me look on him, me look on him in front of him face still and tell him, say, two, one, two of them do a stupid thing, you know. Him do a stupid thing by not stopping and the policeman do a stupid thing by kicking him foot out. No, so, so hold on, is the kick, is the kick that uh, make the bike drop? Yeah, the kick make the bike drop. So therefore, oh, so, so when, him, when the policeman signal him, he had enough time to stop. Well, it's it sudden, you know. I kind of, kind of, kind of funny thing. So, so, how you say him do a foolish thing by not stopping? Eh? So, how you say him do a foolish thing by not stopping? No, nah, man. He, he, the, the police stop him, but um, him, him, him early enough, you know. No, but how you say to him that him do a foolish thing by not stopping? Well, if, him say the, if, if the police stop him, he say, if the police stop him, I'm not stopping him do a foolish thing. No, but you say him not get enough time to stop. Well, so him say to me. So him said to me, said not get enough time to stop. Yeah. Yeah, so him said to me. All right, thanks, dear sir. Yeah, man, Jerry, bless up yourself. I'm going to give you the story, because... So, yes, man, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, you know, get the story straight, so I'm going to Yeah, the story, it's true, right? it's true. Little by little, we hear more and more. Thank you very much. Yeah, man, bless up yourself, Jerry. Thank you very much. Let's go to another call. Good morning. Oh, Jerry. Welcome. Jerry. Yes, sir. A man like that will get threat. He should go to Intercom. I, I intercom at the right now? No, Intercom in the office. Where the people are responsible for the police when they do something wrong? Where, where the right name for them, Jerry? The commissioner responds to the police when they do wrong. But you're talking about Intercom. Yeah, Intercom. Not Intercom. Intercom in the office. You should go and report it to, to, to the body where you're in charge of the police, man. Mm. And, and don't talk, don't, and it, I tell the man about him for the ID. If you go and report it, if, if, if police come and come in lock up and I threaten him. Yeah. But, but that's not what you call about, though. I call about, brethren. So quick? Yeah. That yeah. friend must go and tell him to go and report it, because anybody can come and shot him and kill him. Yeah. Because see, 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 see a guy the other day with say I let kill that police man. Yeah. He, he got beaten in the lockup in, in the police station. Is which police station must be locked up in? Oh, to be a police station. Yeah. He, he get locked up and I beat him. Yeah. So these police come now and threaten him and he should, he should report it to, to the people that are in charge of the police. 
In the come, yeah. In the come. In the come. Mm -hmm. and, and, and don't take it for a joke matter. No. It's a serious thing. You can't chop the, this police. Take care of yourself. All right, thank you very much, yes, sir. Next one, please. Good morning, welcome to Street Apollo. Blessings and good day, sir. Welcome. Yes, my brother. Uh, approximately two, two sat Fridays ago. Yeah. We were speaking about uh, Gavi and the deprivation of the of our race. And that he has forewarned us that if you take away industry from a race and political freedom, all he has is a herd of slaves. That that's the way I would put it. Yeah. Not just a group. Yes, and you were discussing, but you were uh, I got cut off. Yeah. My point is. I truly agree with you what you said. Because you were, we were talking even about the textile mill. Yeah. And you said it wasn't our own. Yeah. And I suggest nationalization. Yeah. And you said, what I agree with you, you said we have to take the reins of government. Uh, that's my term, terminology. And I would like to you to ask, I would like to ask of you, What's the procedure to take over the reins of government, as you perceive it? Well, uh, Jamaica didn't become a sovereign state 1962. Jamaica never really become a sovereign state. This arrangement was made. It was a puppet state. It became a puppet state, right? You know, you know, pup yes. you know, puppet state different from sovereign state. True. Yeah. Well, now, um, Jamaica would have to become a sovereign state. Right now, it's in the hands of, um, it's in the hands of the people who agree, who agree for running it like how it's running now. Two, part, two parties for the last 70 odd years being, being in agreement that it must run in, um, and that kind of puppetry. The, the, the people of Jamaica would have to go to, Enough people in Jamaica would have to come together that them, um, them would have to devise a, them would have to devise a different set of rules about how, a different set of rules about how the, um, the people of Jamaica must be represented. Yeah. All right, Jerry. Would you agree that the rules are already there and written? The rules? Yeah, the rules. No, some puppet rules, a set of pop. well, you yes, mean, you I mean. I mean the rules that, that, that would cause. The, 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 the critical mass of the Jamaican people yeah. take over the reign of government. No, there there exists some um, sets of rules in different yes. countries, you know. No, what I'm saying, for us, the Africans in Jamaica yeah. and in the diaspora, yeah. Gavi gave us. Yeah. And Eile Selassie. Yeah, he, he, Gavi, right? Gavi gave he a sample. Gave us. Gavi what gave a sample. What do we need now? No, uh, what we need is agreement if that set of rules suit us. You know that? Because, um, the set of rules that Garvey devised at a certain time, or Haile Selassie devised at a certain time, not necessarily going to be the exact set of rules that going to suit a people now, you know. But they are, li they are, they are likely to provide a good example to start with. Yes, and there are to be some amendments. Yeah. But I must come in Cab Cabo, and I saw you catching on, if so to speak. You saw me and, what? And you saw, hold on, hold on. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Revolution. You saw me what? I, 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 I said I saw you. I, I, I did not physically, but I saw you chatting on recently. Chatting on to what? Speaking on the issue of the unfinished revolution that was started by Paul Boger. You saw me catching on? You saw me catching on? Yes, I, I, I must say that. No, but I was engaging that from before she born. I, I don't disagree with you, you know, beloved. No, you're talking about ketchup. I don't disagree, but somehow you, 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 fe you fell off. Uh, somehow what? Somehow you have fell off the track. Oh, yeah? When? If so to speak. When? Well, when? When? <laughs> based on observation, because uh, your, 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 your program, if so to speak, it, it doesn't have a... What, what you, it doesn't have what you would term a, a seed. When you start your program, yeah. it's, it, it is as if it's the first person that calls set the theme for the rest of the program. Oh, so the program does have a theme, oh? Yeah. And when, and when, so when, when was it that I started to fall off? <laughs> well, to be honest with you, you know, I, I thought you was a recruiter. 
for that mass, critical mass that should that that would change the status quo. Yeah. And then when, when, honestly, so when you when you, when you found out that I'm not a recruiter, <laughs> you got me. You 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 got me a little confused now. No, no, I'm staying on your reason. I, I can't confuse it. It must be you confuse it. No, no, no. I, no, I said when when you found out that I'm not a recruiter. When, when, when I don't hear any specific de definitive theme of the program. So who is the recruiter? Beloved, I think that all of us, all the Africans, the Afrocentric people in Jamaica and in the diaspora, yeah. are the recruiters. But, but I, but I am, but I together. fall, but I fall off of that. Unite and centralize. No, yeah, I said. Let, let yeah. me put it. You seem to. You, 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 you seem to have fell off. Yes. So if I fall off, that means that all the African people are the recruiters. But I fall off. That means I am. I fall behind them. No, you, you, you would be. I always thought you were one of the central person. Based on yeah. what I've heard, I heard this young man Chronics were teaching when I first hear you. Yeah. About two years now. Yeah. He said he's trying to. He's recruiting. He's here to recruit soldiers for Selassie Army. Yes, yes. And when I heard you and I, and I, and I understand what you are about. Yeah. A Rasta man. Yeah. A Rastas of Rastas, is so to speak. A Rasta of Rastas. What that? What yeah, that, yeah. What yeah. that mean? You, you, in other words, you are a leader among leaders. Or you, who are you, is your appointment? I observe that based on observation. If you don't want the credential, fine. It's up to you. What is that? Is that kind of national honors? <laughs> no, no, is what? no, no. We, our, our nation is here, but it's scattered. Yeah. And we need to get together, you know? Yeah. I appreciate it. No, but yes, I am catching, yes, I was catching up with the idea that there's an unfinished revolution. Yes, they give me that impression. I'm uh, catching up. Recently, much recently. Yeah, I'm catching up with the other people who have been carrying that line. <laughs> right? I don't mean it in any derogatory way, Jerry. No, I'm just trying to find my place, and I'm just trying to find where in procession I am. Jerry, you need to keep track and keep abreast, keep current. Yeah. And let me make it clear. Yeah. This present political regime yeah. and the so-called Westminster-style democracy yeah. won't salvage the Africans in Jamaica and in the diaspora. So you're, you're giving me that lesson? Listen to me. I know it's for all Jamaican and all who has the... But, just about, the but anyway... Any, but, the mindset for but anyway, what the, the, main point, the main point to say is that I'm catching up with the idea that there, there's an unfinished revolution. No, what, you, know, you don't have to stress on that. Jerry, I, I said I don't mean it in any derogatory way. I don't mean to insult you. No, no. But you said, I don't you, mean so you have found. The intelligible, but you have, yeah, Jamaican but you have found appreciable leadership anyway, though. Beloved, we are all leaders, you know. No, but you. I no. consider us all the leaders. Oh. But I said, I think all right, you well, be a leader. Half, half have to go. Leader. Yes, half, half to go. Half to go. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Welcome back to Straight Up. Hello? Jerry. Welcome, welcome. Um, two things. The man I nominated you to be the paramount leader, man. Yeah. We are our leaders, but I'm looking to you as the leader. No, but I'm saying I'm catching up. How, if, how can I be a leader if I am catching up? No, it, it, it has to do with all a part of the big thing we may I tell you about. Yeah. No, if nobody know want to lead themselves, you know. Yeah. Well, look for a paramount leader. The next thing. Who, 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 when you say we, I look for a paramount leader, what do you mean? People. People. I look for somebody. Paramount leader. For bait. Yeah. No, man, that out of date, man. Eh? That out of date. Um. That time um, expiry. It's that expiry. It's practical sense, but. Listen to all the people they might think I I I you know. Yeah. So, I, well me you me know you're smarter than that. The next thing. Yeah. You ask me a question since morning. And I I, I draw away from it, but I go and I go and point out so Yeah. Ralston I man, you see? Yeah. Has been saying for months now. The water problem needs to be fixed, uh, it's critical 
to growth, especially in agriculture. Yeah. One evening, they had Basil Fernandez and a man named Lucius White. Yeah. And the evening edition. And the man when named Lucius White was saying that we need to use wind power to generate some, that are the water commission itself now. Mm. We need to use some wind power to generate some electricity where it can and then take back that electricity where it is needed to pump water up to the top of the hill and gravity feed it back down to the, down to the south coast where it is needed. Mr. Basil Fernandez I put all kind of objections in the way and I thought, well, he must go study. This is a man who is in charge of these, these kind of water resources from before me born, you know. What year, what year? Find out what year him, 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 him become in charge of this. You know, why you find out what year? 1958 or something like that. Basil Fernandez? Yeah. Hold on there. So you want to say Basil Fernandez is um about 87. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You want to tell me that Basil Fernandez is about 87 now? 87 years old? No, no. Who well, told you that he was in charge of this thing from 1958? Who told you? said that from the program. 1958, him say? From 50 something. No, well, if he was in charge of that, night, if he was in charge of that from 1958, you see? Yes. Yeah. That would make him about 87 years old now, because I assume that he would be maybe about 30 years old when they put him in charge of that. Well, 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 maybe he is about that year old then. So, you're looking at Basil Fernandes, him, him look like 87 to you? How many of can I see? Oh, all right. Find out. Don't just, don't just use the figure of speech from before me, born. Because people will take you serious. Find out how long so now. I listen to the man the evening and I dat him say. 1958? Yeah, I could have swear I dat him say. No, don't swear. Why swear and you're not sure? You're not sure and you still say you could have swear. No, but me, de, de, that is why I emphasize from before me ban. Alright, alright, well hear this now. Ban. Well hear this now. Catching water and storing water and distributing water and all those things. Them things there is uh, some, uh, some exact science, you know, what you call engineering. Yeah. Them exact, you know. Yeah. And if we start out not being exact, yeah. that is, we will fool around these things and don't deal with them and just vague about them and don't deal with them. And that is how Jamaica end up without no water supply or no, no proper water supply because people not exact about these things. People vague about these things. And, be, and it, and it becomes a habit, a big habit. And also, that's why I ask you if it's really from before you born. Because you say once you start... Then, then, then you show me and listen to the man and hear what he say and I say, wow. No, I don't believe it. Yeah. I don't believe it and I go and give you that charge. Apart from finding out what is, what is, what is Ralston's exact recommendation and plan about the water supply. The other thing is I want you to find out exactly how long now Basil Fernandez has been. Alright, I go find I need, out. I need to find out exactly. Yeah. And that we cannot just be talking everything like a joke or vague because... A joke. Or vague because a lot of the scriptures and a lot of history and so on is just as vague as what we're talking here now, you know. And eventually they, they end up being not, so, not only vague but exact things and truth become a casualty and not so important. That things now become a parable or a proverb rather than a truth, you know, or a byword. But we now beat them when but next call, yes, sir. Thank you very much. Next one. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up, hello. That's yes, small. Welcome. Mm. You know, me hear a reason about VM. I have a question to ask you. Mr. Small, what is the real purpose of this program that you're hosting? Discussion. And understanding. Just that. I'm not going to take the whole three minutes to tell you everything what it's about. Uh, all right. No, but you see, but maybe one, you explain still, because you know. You can't take the big thing, because I work for years, this thing, this talking, 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 man. Yeah, yeah. But we have to, um, um, 
put forward solution because as um, from in the 80s, me didn't want, you know, you know, one dance group. And my brother, them always say, explanation, mash up the country. Well, yeah. At time now, the explanation go on side. Well, on, well, on, well, on. Some things are not as All right. right now. All right. Some things is being done to us, you know? Yeah. You get me? Yeah. And, um, yeah. What this is why. Go on, go on. You know, this is why I have been suggesting that those of us, especially the youth them, I'm going to talk to the youth them we are listening, and people who are listening to this program right now, where no youth that are not nominated to, um, to, to vote when that vital. Now, who, are not who are not enumerated? Yes, who are not enumerated. But you said not yet. Enumerated. But yes. Right now, I'm tell you something. We have a farm and a lion. And right now, I say, there are those of us, uh, there, are, there are people among us who we, we can identify. Yeah, and before so we use agreement and restrict them to, 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 to um, doing what we want them to do. And we want to come to a, a, a mutual understanding of what we want to happen. All right, hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. There has been places in the world where people without no holy for multi-billion amount of money change up them, um, change up the conditions for the better in the country where them live. You know that? Yes, I know. But most of the time it's big money, finance, political party and finance election, but there are some countries where some people have been able to make these changes outside of big money controlling. You know that? Yeah. You ever study any of them people that were, were managed to make these changes without no big money? Well, um, we look on the Cuban Revolution, you know, and I was listening to, um, what, what the country name, oh my gosh, it slipped out of me. Um, this is the island man where, 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 where them, them, um, 100% employed that them have to um, 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 import. Singapore, workers, you mean Singapore? Singapore. Yeah, and, yeah. And, because I was listening to it on BBC. And yeah, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pardon me? Hold on, we don't have that much time. All right, any more? That, those things happen, um, one of those things happened nearly 60 years ago, and the other one happened about 50 years ago. Any more recent example of countries where people have been able, where the mass of the people, are a, a, a critical mass of people have been able to change the course of them country for the better without a whole of a billion billion year and money man are back it? Um, honestly, I, 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 I don't, one don't come to mind, right? All right, well, it is, it would be good if you spend some time studying those situations. Yeah, I Mr. Smart. I know, we, we're out of time. Call back again after 11. And remember what you were saying and continue from there. Next one, please. Hi, good afternoon. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, hi, my name is Ron Thompson, Jerry. First time calling the program. Your name is what? My name is Ron. First time calling the program. Yeah. Yeah, bless up. You feel like it right? See, I feel like it right when you come to vote in time. Someone come to like, take your guy to vote. Somebody come to you and what? No, you feel like it is right. Yes. For you in the yard, they are right. It comes to election coming up now. Yeah. You feel like it is right for someone to come inside your home, try to all and pull and not take it to vote. No, no. You ever experienced that? Yeah, I'm saying thing you more while I'm saying you more while yes, car. I'm saying I'm sure I think Jerry, let's know my talk to me. Believe in and get to I'm not my sin thing out of my own self. You understand? Hello? Yeah, yeah, I've asked if you experience it, different from seeing it to happen to other people. You have experienced it for yourself that them force no, you? No, no, I never reach him, but I see people doing things that come in and people, yeah, come all right. and I pull them, bring guns and all them things. Yes, 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 yes. Not so right at all, not right. right at all, not right at all. No. Okay, okay, yes, Now sir. tell me something now, you're born and growing in that area? Yes, I'm born and growing in that area, yes, the same area, yes, sir. In that area, and, and, and you don't want to move out of that area, right? Yeah, why not plan to move right now quickly? Because I don't know, it's not, it's not really good to be in a place like any time of time, you see it? Well, that I was going to ask you now, if you know, you know a lot of other people who don't like it, who are born and growing in the area, who don't like it? Well, yeah, quite, yeah, quite, quite, yes. But, but most of them decide that they can't afford to talk out in the open. Yeah, well, I feel that way, I feel them problems still. So, me, me only I talk to more me really still. So, is, is, is in a town, is in a town that happens now in a countryside? No, man, I'm good there, I'm telling you about. I say if it's in town that happened, in a oh, town. Yeah, man, in Kingston. In the Kingston? Yeah. So that's why people have to move out of area and politicians get to control that area. 
No, no, no reason for politician control. More, listen to what I'm saying, Jerry. All right. In average party, which party defends the era, you ain't saying you're saying not going to vote now. That is the problem we're talking about. It is right for someone to come take it out of vote. Now we're going back to that. We passed that already. So, oh, so you oh, say, oh. who, who control the era? The politician or a bad man? No, you know, the more bad man. No, I'm a more bad man than politician. Same goes to the same politician by politician by a gun, the bad man to kill people. Same way. At the same thing. I like me at him. Um, I don't know, I don't know how much, how much of that going on now where politicians buying guns for kill, for, 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 for bad man. Yeah, but, 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 you see, say it used to go in on, on the earth, though. It used to go in on, though. But I can't get to finish saying what I'm saying. Alright, so we'll have a good day. So no, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't talk. Hold on, hello. Then, yes. then why are, why are you drawing? No, it's not where I'm going to call, so tell you what I'm going to call. Enjoy your day, boy. Alright, let's go for the 11 o'clock headline news, straight up. Good morning and welcome back to Straight Up. I am your host, Daryl Small, reading some text message here before we get back to the phone. First one. I, Jerry, bless up the caller, English accent. He hits the nail on the head from JTG St. Anne. Next one. It is the same teach that used to play the organ. Yes, man, I know. My suspects are the same teach, man. Yes, yeah, good to know that you are... Well, well uh, you're not actually here. I think you're, you're abroad. Good to know. Thank you very much, Teach. Next one. Jerry, the cause of the Negro downfall is infighting and no discipline. The Negro downfall. Next one. Rasta is not a faith, but a people, a way of life, not a belief system, therefore not a religion. Next one. Please play Judge Dread by Prince Buster for my friend Peter Henry. This is not the Muta version, but totally different words coming from John. Yes, back to the phone. Who have you here? Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Morning, Joy. Welcome, sir. You're yeah, welcome. Fine, thank Fernandez. you. Um, Fernandez. Basil. Yeah. Start work at the water place in 1968. Yeah, Basil Fernandez. Basil Fernandez, yes. He started work there, and was he the head from that time? No, he come to the ropes. I, dur I doubt him would what, be the head from that time. No, he was not the head at that time. He come to the ropes, and he ended up at university in 79 and all that Yes, yes. Yeah. But when he wanted to do now, he said, he tell about the hotel, or the hotel use the seawater. Yes. He, he wanted to do that for Jamaica. He, need, he wants it, or, he, or you think he should? No, he, no, he wants it. He said he wanted. That's what he said. Yeah, that's what he's advocating for. Okay. So he, he call it artificial recharge. Yes. Yeah. So um, that's what he's fighting for now. Okay. That's a discussion. Because that's why I'm saying if he even um, the, 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 the dam increase and build more dam and all him. So according to him, he won't make any difference. So he, that's his theory. I don't know wrong or wrong. So what? So storage of water. In different parts of Jamaica, um, wouldn't make any difference. To me, it would. Of course, it makes difference to me. But he said it wouldn't make but any difference. He said it would make any difference. I, I, I because know. what? Because enough water not being, not falling to to keep those full or what? It, it's there. That's what he's saying. Yes. So you have enough source. Enough enough water not coming from Saint Thomas. <clears throat> That's what he's saying. I don't understand it myself. All right, what about the rivers that flowing into the sea? The rivers run low. But you have some rivers that still continually have a big flow into the sea. Seen? Still flowing into the sea? Flowing into the sea, man, but it's still low in, in comparison to good times. It's, it's low, but still it's flowing into the sea. Yes. So instead of it flowing into the sea, it must can catch up. You, so you dam it. You don't want dam it. You, you might not want dam it. According to what you say, me saying, damn it. Not going to help much. Right. Because I don't know if it's true evaporation or what. Yeah. But certainly if you want the whole place to irrigate, you don't really want to cut off the river too far up into the hill. Right. Because you want the river run right through the land. Yes. yes. Then when it reaches the sea, why, don't, why we can't capture it when it reaches the sea? Uh, yes, reasonable. Right? I don't know that, Jerry. But the people them too bright in my opinion. You know, say last week for the first time, I realized that so much well was in South St. Catherine. Yeah, yeah, man, hold it, hold it. Eh? Uh, hold it in the league and you play in too. Yes. I never knew that until I just know them at all about it, say, um, they're going to use some of the wells to supply people at Portmore or something there. 
Yeah. Really, it's a smooth well there about the place, man. I play well in the league. One, 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 yeah, one more thing. One more thing I want to ask you or point out. In the same time when this water becomes so critical, and yet water have a, Jamaica have quite a few water resources. Yeah, man. They're trying to, they are popularizing the idea to privatize water. So, so, so private people, business people, rich people, one water. are capturing all of the resources of all the earth, more and more, and the latest one is water. Yes. And they're gradually convincing. What they gradually do, they use politicians and educated people yes. to gradually convince the population in the world that this is the only way it must go so. Yes. Thank you very much, yes, sir. Take it easy, cool, no? Good morning. What, welcome to Straight Up, hello. Hello, Bongo, sir. Welcome, sir. Oh, uh, go on, sir. Fine, thank you. Why well, this? The real drought, the pandalania. But coming like he's a blessing in disguise. Yeah, yeah. For the two damn them, but them off on the island, yeah. Because when everything dry out, them can finally get to clean it and take out the tons of mud. We cake up in night for over 70 odd years. Yeah. You know? That's a blessing. No, I say it's coming like it's a blessing in disguise because when 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 it finally empty out them can get to clean it. Yeah. Because these dams have never been clean from inception. Yeah. So it's a woody pam mud and silt cake up. Yeah. At the bottom of them of them thing there. But we need to have more 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 catchment areas as you say with some of the rivers them were flowing at the sea. There are many places around the world mm. where water supply is critical and where and where water supply dwindled down where it used to be plentiful one time and there are many places in the world where we can study and find out what is the best way of regulate water supply and water scarcity and all them things there because every so time in, in, small, you know, every year the same same argument the yeah. same thing no that's why I, say I want to move away from that every year argument and mm. therefore now look around the world where these things happen before. That is the that is the shortest route to solution, you know. Look around look around and find out how other people have conquered these problems. More than every year with us pure amateur with us I chat over table talk and we drink a drink meanwhile and we smoke two spliff and go and talk about it. Mm. You know understand? People have solved these problems. People have been faced with these problems for thousands of years and people have solved them. And in modern times there have been modern solutions and different technology to solve these things. But but more and more uh, public opinion, people are discussing more and more things in Jamaica and realizing that um, they have been conned and um, tricked and that the most of it is to lead to property. More and more property going into the hands of private people and take out, uh, out of the public, you know? Uh, I see, I see the, the news item from the, from the station a while ago. See, well, some of the Eastern Caribbean states, they must sell citizenship to, to, to the rich and the famous. Yeah, yeah. Is that thing all around the world? Um, economic citizen is being sold all around the world. Long time now, but it, more in recent, over the last 30, 40, 50 years. More and more around the world. People. Some of Jamaica, Jamaica, and then and then deal. Yeah, plen plenty of citizenship still in Jamaica, too, man. Plenty of citizenship and work permit. Mm -hmm. Plenty of them people you say are coming from Asia and Europe. Asia and Europe and even America. Where you say come here and I do business and I get rich where them was never rich before. Plenty of them buy them either buy citizenship or them buy work permit and buy all kind of different things. Plenty of that. All right. Thank you very much. Yes, Look sir. More, yes, sir. Thank you. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up Hello. Morning again, Mongo. Welcome, sir. How are you doing? Hello. Just a quick explanation of the situation with the youth talk here about not too long about people being taken out of them home for the vote and things. Yeah. Um, is a thing that is discussed um with the constituency, where they work out, the executive, the people who look about election. Yeah. The people who go for the people them to vote are called runners. So for instance, especially in the ghetto, them do a canvas and them assume in most cases, that true is a JLP era. Everybody is a JLP. And Tom Dick and Harry is assigned to the lane yeah, and the lane there. Eh. And it comes from up at the top now, you have indoor agent, outdoor agent. 
the outdoor agent, when people come to vote, them either know or sometimes they must assume say, a JLP that. So when them look, Tom Dick and Harry from 83 Lane no come, and they're supposed to be JLP, and JLP seem to be behind in that constituency. So them send out the run of them who in charge of them lane there. Go for them people. But sometimes they behave bad, poor. Them force the people and them cost the people them. But, but that is how them people that come about, you know? So I'm just explain a quick thing about that, you know? Yeah, they are um, most of the senior people and the old people them in the party. Uh-huh. Uh, some old crook who understand these things. <laughs> and, it, and and them and them mean they, that's how them control the party and that's and that's and yeah, they, and they, they break and, and they break they, and they break in um, the younger people into this and who yeah, who, who, who oh break God, oh God. Who, so who, there are some of the young people in the politics now. Come see me like the old guards them. Bad behavior, cuss and talk and expect people pick the most learn from that and take um something good. Alright now, so so what is um so for what line you taking now? You still around for JLB? No 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 um um, well, I retired from being counselor caretaker. I'm still associate in the car because of my... Uh, no, hello, hello, hello. We, we don't have a long time for that. I yeah, said, what, no, li no, no, what no, line I'm you... What line you... Te I'm no, well, I'm hey, we, you're not alone with the talk. To you're not even listening. You're not alone with the talk. Yeah, yeah, man, you go ahead. Well, we'll go down by time. Next one. Good morning. Welcome to Shadow. Hello. Indeed, Brother Jerry. Welcome, sir. I'll go on. A few days ago, there was a story in the Observer Journal where a man was fined $150,000 yeah. as a result of a case that concluded in which he was found guilty. I'm not sure what the offense um, no, no was. Uh, no, no, no sex with an underage girl. Uh, well, actually what he was caught doing was kissing the girl and making arrangements to meet for sex. Sometime then, later. Then sex or no kissing? Kissing or no sex? Uh, I think what they mean in this case is that they would have um, intercourse. Yeah, but, but, um, but, um, anyway. So, yes. ki so, ki so kiss or what? Uh, kiss is, um, intimacy. Intimacy? What kind of intimacy? Uh, of a carnal nature. What carnal mean? Yeah, carnal mean flesh. Not true. Indeed. Yes. Flesh meaning as a next word for sex. Oh. So wait. I'm I'm not sure in terms of the so, so kiss a man. How they... A man never a woman never kiss a man till him get weak. Yes. And a man never kiss a woman till she get weak. Yes. So it's not sex. Anyway, a hundred and fifty thousand dollars. That's what they must charge for. Right. But what I found interesting, the lawyer made a plea that this man was a church man and his reputation was not calling Christian before and so on. And the judge made an utterance in which he said that um, the man should have gone to prison. So my question is very, is it that the law in such an instance does not have um, prescribed a prison, um, a custodial sentence for this offense? Um, then how did judge... The, no, hold on. That the judge said the man should have gone to prison. What else the judge say after she said should have gone to prison? What else she say after that? Uh, the new story did not mention that. No, but it must... If, if, the, if the judge said the man should have gone to prison, she must say something after that. Like... I should think so. She must say something indicating why he never go to prison. Oh, I see what you Because mean. if somebody, if somebody who have jurisdiction is saying him should have go to prison, Yes. She must be explaining why she never sent him to prison. Okay, I was wondering if her hands were tied where that is concerned. When you find out more, most can find out more about it. What, what she said, more than him should have gone to prison. Must say something different from that. It's worth a try. Yeah, man. Thank you very much. Yes, huh? By the way, Jerry. Yeah. Can you imagine down in Trinidad, they, they, had to, they have to increase security around the opposition leader, you as we speak. Because a 15 million bounty, the police has confirmed, has been paid to what they describe as an entity to get rid of him. Yeah, but, but what? Who, who is the people interested in getting rid of him? 
No, that is a multi-million dollar question. All right. This opposition leader is no fool in a jury. Yeah. So, it is quite a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, yeah. Check it out. Take my word for it. Yeah, man. Thank you very much, yeah? Indeed. We have more. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up, hello. Yeah, go ahead, please. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up, hello. Hello? Not there? Hello? Hello, good morning. Welcome. Morning, Gary. Hi, right, how are you doing? Not too bad. Thank Fine. You. Um, just three quick words. Yeah. On taxes, education, and um, the Venezuelan and money. Yeah. Uh, let me talk to you. Taxes. Last week, a youngster called you, suggesting that we should um, eliminate consumption tax. You know, yeah. the GCT. Yeah, yeah. Uh, technically, it's is, is, is a good idea, you know, because... As crazy, I think that's the day you had crazy in the studio. Mm. And crazy elaborated on it, on it, elaborated on it a little about regressive and progressive tax. Yeah. And, and generally, the GCT is really regressive. It's not the good tax. It, it tends to tax the poor more than the rich. Yeah. So crazy was quite on target with that. You know, I tried to get to talk to him, but couldn't. But um, the consumption tax is easier to implement. You know? The, the income tax, mm. hard for, like a doctor say 100 patients, and him say 20 him say for the day. A taxi man do, do 100 trip, him, him say 20 trip him do. So it's hard to tax people on, on income. Mm. So yes, we always end up with the, the, the GCT. Um, yes, it's better to have income tax than GCT, but it's harder to implement GCT. So we end up doing that most of the time. I mean, it's harder to implement income tax. Right, right. You're quite correct. It's harder to implement income tax. Yeah. So, but you would have a good idea, you know. Don't like him on vacation discussing it with him friends. Yeah. Um, secondly, education. Mr. Clayton, well, Leonard, in, in this in Garnet the other day, he made mention of an educator, Isaac Henry. Mm. Great educator from Stats. You know, and I was wondering where the Garnet come from, the woman economy department. But Mr. Clayton Hall... I notice he's leaving St. Spanish Town High School, going to full-time to JTA. But I always had a problem with Mr. Hall, you know, because I thought he was in this thing of um, self-aggrandizement rather than looking at the kids at the school. The school was rated in the last three in the island. At the time, he was taken off to the JTA. So I didn't think he was spending enough time, you know, paying attention to the school youth them. People like, like Isaac Henry gave up him everything else for the school, which is why Garnet knows so much now. Um, finally, 30 years, Jerry, is, is the theory that I get for, for that um, new debt. 30. 30. The Petro-Carib, I'm working with some figures I heard from Auburn Hill. 25 was the Petro-Carib thing. Not much of a difference. You could say they, they, they knew that, you know, have a longer time. There are only two good things, two advantages of the Petrocari payoff. One is you borrow two million, pay off 1.5, so you have half a billion, two billion. You have half a billion in cash, surplus cash. Two is um the the one is the surplus cash and two is is that surplus cash, Mr. Byer suggested we use it for employ people. It's private sector match it, you know, and thing. Uh, Mr. Shaw said make sure you don't use it for election campaign. And the second advantage would be, um, all right, let's come to the second advantage. No, we only have 10 seconds. 10 seconds, right. The second advantage would be that you, all right, the immediate inflow of cash is one, and two would be that your debt debt equity go down. You, you pay half three million and get two. So you, you're going to owe one billion, a billion that I'm talking about. You're going to owe one billion less. Anyhow, the bottom line, Jerry. Yeah, we're out of time, though. All right. The bottom line in five seconds is it's a bad deal. You lose in the end. Next time, I'll go into it. Yeah, man. Thank you very much. Next one. Good morning. Welcome to Street Up. Hello. Good morning. Hello, hi. Yes, sir. Welcome. How are you doing? King Celestia. Blessed morning, I have. Hi. Yeah, man, give thanks. The, the third hour is really the rush hour. It's not going to really like you, but me give thanks to get you still, you know? Yeah. Yeah, man, me give thanks. 
And I have said, I big up all of the people who was able to attend Christy's funeral yesterday, you know? Whose funeral? Christy. Who is that? The police girl, the man. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, man, the girl that was killed off the bus there. Yes. Yeah, man, yesterday she got her send off, you know? Yeah. Yeah, man, it was really, uh, sorry to say, in a moment of grief, I said, boy, she was sent off good still, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, she was sent off good. Government official was there and thing, you know? Mm. Him, the great man, pick a food. Oh, yeah. But, boy, I'm to say, the routine that the government play, they realize, but I realize the routine that the government play at the fall of one of them soldiers, I said, boy, you know, say so that effort, there is really a great effort. And if them did really put out even one forty percent of the effort in protecting the regular people, I mean, I'm so small, you know, so we'd have a big Jamaica today. Yeah. Mean to say that, boy, the way we see them honor the dead, like the way them carry the coffin and them salute, and the way we see them even fall back the flag with them taking it off of the coffin, Mr. Small, you know, so it's a great routine that take a lot of practice. Yeah, yeah. And everything that you're doing in life, you know, you start from one step and practice till it's perfect, you know, almost perfect as to how you want it, you know. Yeah. Yeah, man, everything in life. Cause you see me look on Jamaica, Mr. Small. Jamaica is not a hard country to run, you know. Uh, we have enough people and we have enough resources. And for you have the people, Mr. Small, and it's your main resource. So, are the people I go work with. So, if I should run the country, Mr. Small, like, if it was half a boy, if we, like, we are complaining about the Prime Minister every day and about the leadership, if somebody would have said, all right, what would you do to make, do I improve in the country, Mr. Small? What I would say, what I would copy, I would go to the teachings of His Majesty, Mr. Small, and the mother of Leonard Percival, or will want to establish a, a, a pinnacle there. I would also go for the, the for what Marcus Gavi stands for, for the vision of Marcus Gavi. Yeah. And the vision of Marcus Gavi had was that black people must have their own one year line of shipping country so they are head to be that, you know? Yeah. And uh, what Leonard Howell has anyway. established a self sustainable community. Yeah, um apart from them old time are they, which had some great ideas. There must be some new ideas also that we need to add into those. But uh, next time we can talk about that. Just one thing the I want ideas to ask. But they yeah. just still not explain the old one them yet. Yes, just one thing I, I want to ask. The, the same um, police woman who was buried and all them kind of way. Um, some, some whole per room, not whole I don't know. One and two rumors circulate out there about why she get executed and all them kind of way there. Um, I wonder if you can find out or if it is known whether she ever take down any she ever take down any um bad man or any gunman who found out on the street. Well okay. I heard that message circulating, yes. That what? That a, a certain man might drop out his part shouldn't have drop out and have close rank within, you know? But them issue the kind of bigger oh, than me. Oh, I mean, I mean drop out. You know, when you hurt a man, you know, like chicks for instance, when they were going for Dudu, suppose a man for Dudu, so ordinary little like police go for Dudu, so yes, yeah, a man like long Dudu, so looks mad close to him. You know, so boy, the man is close to government, close to politicians, close to this, and the boy, the man, they shouldn't drop out, you know. Mm. And then a man will send a check and say, yo, you see, if that one man, the way you make drop out, shouldn't drop out, you know, say, yo, I want back 10 hours for the man, you know. No, I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, all right. It's all right. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Give thanks some praise, man. Yes, Cheers, sir. And yes. the first hour tomorrow. Yeah, yes. Rest of all right. Yeah, man. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Hello? Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Next one? Jerry, good morning. Welcome, welcome. Yes, Jerry. Jerry. Yeah. What's going on? You call to tell me. <laughs> but when people call to tell it... it Don't spend the whole time on it. If you're going to spend the whole time on that, we're not going to use the time. <laughs> All right, Jerry. What my call to say, the fan is still. I have two things my call to say. But if I if if say one first, I know you have a one come like me for the program. So I'm not going to say that first. Listen now, Jerry. One of my brothers and my sisters them out there. Jerry. This girl, what do you hear, Jerry? She in her business. Place. And her 
and a man from the area come in an argument with her. The girl run out of her business space, run go in a small space there. And the boy go in there go bust the girl throat and kill her. And a piece where they on the street attack them something there in a dairy. But Jeremy can't understand. Why when people see two people have fight Jerry, them stand up and watch and video it and then tell it tears after. Why them don't try to prevent it, Jeremy don't say if man have machine, come and have that about gun, like machine and knife and them things. You see a man attack your brother and your sister, Jerry. All of the Jerry, a group of people just pick up some spoon or something and start fling upon the aggressive person. When him see them spoon and something that come, Jerry, him have to flee. All right, hold on, let's go for a break. <laughs> Yeah, welcome back to Straight Up. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead, ma'am. Hello? Good morning. Welcome. You're not there still, ma'am? She's not there. Don't know what happened to that call. Call back. See if you can call back before the program finish. Next one. Let's, let's some text messages and then we'll come back to the phone. Next one. Bro brother. Please play Christopher Columbus by Burning Spear for Wilfred Brown. Wilfred Brown. Listen in England. Coming from Patrick Sachs. Next one. Uh, Jerry, when was the last time Jamaican people voted on real issues? Next one. Jerry, black people need to keep abreast with modern engineering because I don't believe they, they are at the same level as ancient Rome. Next one, Bongo Jerry, morning. People all over Jamaica, world. No, pe sorry. Bongo Jerry, morning. People all over the world being murdered daily, not Jamaica alone. Yeah, have, um, let's run the numbers, please. We'll get back to the phone. For straight up, we have a choice of number 702 3470. 702 3475 Digital number 618 Digital 6181823. All straight lines. Text line 899-7657. Text line 899-7657. We also stream live at www.newstalk93fm.com. www.newstalk93fm.com. <laughs> Welcome back to Straight Up. Hello? Yes, Jerry. Yeah. Yes, Jerry, no. Yes, Jerry. Oh, oh, what me that say, Jerry? Too much time to see them things that happen, Jerry. People are around them people and are standing up all in a bus. People run go and look at school youth in a bus and man run go in there and stand up and kill him and people in the bus and them things are Jerry. Jerry, them people are Jerry. We have to start learn how to protect we one another and we fail. You understand? We can't just stand up so and watch with brother and sister. I kill off them one another, them kind of way that we're not doing nothing about it. You understand? Is that me I tell Jerry? Yeah, what preparation you make? Jerry, what preparation me make? Yeah. Jerry, me the palm my feet. Me the palm my feet and my Oh, Jerry. Jerry, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said that you are on your P's and Q's. Yes. That means you are careful and looking out for anything happen to you, right? Anything, yes, Jerry. All right, but you said that people must stop. People must start preventing people from killing off one another. Yes. You being on your P's and Q's, you're not doing anything like that. You're not preventing. Jerry, because Jerry, me not really outside, Jerry. Me not really fight them things that happen, Jerry. So you are saying that other people must prevent fight and killing? Yes. But not you. Yeah, of course, that's me, that they are me, see, you know what I mean? Never look out. So why you call, why you ask me, what the question you asked me a while ago? Yeah, tell us to know, 
Well, well, you said that already. You said that already. But afterward, you asked me a question about my, about me and my action or my opinion or what? No, but All right. What is the next thing we did want to talk about? Eh? What's the next thing we did want to talk about? No man, listen now, Jerry. No, you're going to use a ball of time. Listen now, Jerry. Listen to the police, them, the police, them Jerry. They must say. Them for right on them own, them forget them own vehicle and way, way, and all people. Them forget to pick up on them because things like Jerry. But Jerry, the public, I, I got just leave for Jerry. Jerry, where the police them for the Jerry? You see, when them go up on a public bus, Jerry, them not just go in any street, so I'm going to sit down and turn them back. No matter how fuck them stand up on the front of the bus. And them watch everybody where I come in and everybody them tell them I open that means say the least little move them see. You understand? But some of them go in the jerry and them sit down and relax. You understand? And you cannot do that. You understand? Even people on the bus when them up on the bus, the jerry. All, all right, Jerry, look at all the policemen, Jerry. Look what the people up on the bus, Jerry. Jerry, gunman come on the bus. Jerry. And them come stick on up, Jerry. Everybody and up in the ear or whatever, Jerry. The born man have passed the Jerry. Ah, somebody have to do Jerry. Give him one push. Yeah, you 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 take bus. Of course, my take bus. And if you was on the bus and the gun man, Jerry, if it just gets me up on the bus and them come close me, me I push him. And the next rest day, but two or three more. The time them to look to see what happened to him. The rest of people push them down too, and them grab them. You understand? People can start think. You can't just go on bus and you walk, and you know, just free so you, 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 your mind has free all about. All right. You understand? All right, and your head around. Jerry, you see you now? I don't know what's wrong with you, you know. All right, I'm going to leave now before you, you, you make something wrong with me. Thank all you. right, bye. Thank you very much, yeah? Good morning and welcome to Straight Up, hello? Good morning, welcome to Straight Up. Go ahead, please. Hello? Yeah, my time? Yeah, welcome. Yes, Jerry. Good evening to you, Judge. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Would yes, you? Man. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. But the judge said, one of the reasons why I'm not sending the man to jail. Yeah. A 13 year old content. Yes. So a 13 year old content. That's what I heard. That's what I heard you said that um, him should go to prison. But because the girl consent, him not going to prison and him going to pay some money. That that don't sound like um I wonder if it's a report that that, that are a judge. Is that a yes the judge say? Uh, I don't understand that. Mm. Can we rely on what them report in the papers? Well, I really don't know you know, how to put it, you know. Because I even hear the brother with the pan live at 7. Never push on pan at 7. You know? Yes, yes. Yeah. But a judge makes some kind of decision sometimes after one day, you know. Yeah. It's just that I call it today. And, 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 and the same judge is sending people to prison for a half dozen mango or a, or a couple and dozen. A, a a yeah. 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 Yeah, a long time I want to call the program. Right? Yeah. I need some clarity. Yeah. Yeah. Why well, don't give this call at the time to talk and explain it? Yeah. But now you just call just the other day. Yeah? It's some time, but why want to understand the time. Yeah. Hold on. You have a kind of echo in a going on in your phone. You hear it? Yeah. All right, start over. Long time you did one call, and why I don't get the right, call at no, the... No, no, I call. I call back. I put on some more credit and call back. You want to put on some more credit? So, so why don't talk until that credit finish? I put on some more credit and call back. Why? 
No, it looked like him might listen himself on the radio. It looked like it's the radio, he might hear himself on the radio. Listen to the repeat broadcast tonight. No, I've been not spreading. No, you go and talk, man. You're, you go and talk till the credit don't there, call back again. Go and talk. You know, I've been not spreading. I'm going to need more time for God. Somebody did that. What the quote say? Hello? Hello? What the quote say? You hear me? Or the quotes are confusing me now. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Hello, morning, Mr. Smart. Welcome, sir. Yeah, Mr. Smart. Yeah. I see where the PNP will reject Miss um, Webley, Mrs. Webley's application. Where, I remember. where that came out? I saw it in the Sunday Observer and the headline that um, the PNP hierarchy will announce this week that they're going to reject it. And, and is the PNP give out that information? I don't know where the source get it from, but I read it in the newspaper All yesterday. Right. All right, go on, man. So I'm just saying now that it has often been said that the politician would have made more money in the private sector than working in true politics. Yeah. This is a perfect example for Mrs. Webley to go in private practice yeah. and prove to the Jamaican people that they can go the public, se the private sector. And secondly, Mr. Small, back to school. Yeah. The parents buying up all these books for back to school and paying all of these auxiliary fee and school fee. Yeah. But the water crisis is up on us. Yeah. Wonder already the schools are with the water. Yeah, uh, if them have storage ability and all them things. Yeah, but the water commission concert, the man who deal with the communication, he's not even willing to tell the public how many how much water is left in the in the dam. Yeah. He don't he doesn't want to to, to go out on that limb. I hear they said this morning it reached dire proportion. Long time, every week. That means people soon drop in, Mr. Small. People start already. They start drop, and this drought. This drought only means more poverty for the Jamaican people, you know. Well, it must. Because, yeah, because it's going to touch on all facets of our life. And it's going to cost more money. And if, if food costs more? Yeah, if food costs more, your budget going to cost more. Yeah. So it's a serious crisis we find ourselves in. Yes. But I wonder if this is Mother Nature's way of speaking back to the politicians. To the politicians? the IMF plan. To the politician. Mother Nature, if it, this is Mother Nature's it not, way. It not hurt them. No, it can't hurt them. It hurt we. But it just goes to show that the resources need to be better, better allocated. We it's need more them. More fundamental things. We need them. They are prepared for privatizing though. Yeah, and secondly, Mr. Small. Andrew Olney seems to be under pressure from his hierarchy. Understand that they don't want to fund the, the, the JLP with him in charge. Yeah, same thing. Well, you see, him is, a, him is coached by Siaga, and the same thing they reach Siaga. Yeah, so it just goes to show who is really running Jamaica and where the interest lies. Yeah. Because they should, they should be busily trying to form a coalition government now to tackle what is ahead. Coalition between who? who? between the, the, the two set of politicians to show the Jamaican people that they are busily working in their interest. I think it would have the worst thing if it interested the Jamaican people. For the, for the if, they work, if, they, if, if they work together? Yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah. billion dollar that they gave to the electoral commission that could come back yeah, and have to do some things on the ground. Yeah, yeah dream. But it was a dream. It's a, it's, a, um, it's a dream. It's a dream. It's a dream that them would do all such things in, in our interest. But thank you very much, dear, sir. Yeah, respect, Mr. Small. Yeah, let's go for a break, please. Welcome back to Straight Up. I'm your host, Jerry Small. Good morning. Morning. Hi, how are you doing, ma'am? I'm good. Nice. Hmm. Life, life, Jerry. Boy, may I tell you. Yeah. I am. I have learned from life, and I'm still learning from life. Yeah. Wow. And a lot of things happen to people. Can I tell you? Yeah. It's not by chance for me. It's just the way it's supposed to happen. What you put, what you do to life or give to life is what you get back. Trust me. For me, it works. 
You know, I the water situation is just getting worse and worse. And, you know, it's going to take a lot of doing to fix the problem with if we're going to allow those people to remain in their, in their comfortable chairs, in their nice AC, you know, offices and so on. But what can we do for now? It's not by chance that I live near to a river, that even at this dry time it still runs. Yeah. Trust me. God good to me, and me good to God. Yeah. A life is how you treat nature, nature treats you. Me don't know Jerry, it doesn't work for me, me just sit down and think back. Yeah. It's work for me. What you put in is what you get out. And all the time you're so hot and people think you're crazy. There's some things they never know why you do it, Jerry. Yeah. And when something starts up, you say, oh my God, I didn't even thought about it. Yeah. I've been led and never realized it was, was going to be for my, you know, my, 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 my greater good. And that's great. I'm going to never run out of water, Jerry, but it's going to take some time. Yeah. And I'm so happy for that. I didn't know what, what, where I was in it at the time, but now, you know, things are, is are falling into place. And yeah. I wish people would pay more attention to life. Of course, really. that, of course that would help. Yeah. Because it's speaking to us, and sometimes we just we don't refuse from hearing or from, from paying it mind because we're too busy and we're too... You know, we just catch up in our own thing, and do our own thing, and we, you know, we on our own eyes, and we, nobody can talk to you, because you're, 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 you're rich. Yeah. You know, and some people are then conch, they are control freaks, and they want to tell you and dictate to you what you can do and what you cannot do. Mm -hmm. But I'm doing as enough as, as, as life allows me to do. It all goes back to nature, naturally, trust me. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bird are flying like, you know, bird come on the, the, the yard and make them nest and miss a bird, you know, them leave the young ones, them and like, they fly out too early and, you know, they are not strong enough and me take them up and me kind of try to fix them, you know, put them, make a little cage for them and, you know, nurse them back. And people say, you have time to do that? <laughs> nah, make the bird dead, no? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I try. And life and nature is just good to me. Cooperated, you? Yes. Right, I just need Jerry and my little corner here so I don't know about the rest of the people. Because, why? <clears throat> Take it easy upon yourself, yeah, ma'am? <laughs> All I right, thank, th thank you very much, yeah? All right. Good morning and welcome to Straight Up. Hello? Hello. Welcome, welcome. Oh, uh, Mr. Jerry. Hello. Go on, man, go on. Yeah, first time call up on your program. Yeah. Hear this now, listen this and listen to God. I know say he's a man who knows the truth. A long time I listen to you from before you come from the program yourself. Years. When you give Perkins all the information. I listen to you. So, hear me I say. If you tell the people them the truth and not make no little giddy head people come from the show and chat no rubbish. Tell the people them the truth. Spit out the truth out there because I know you know the thing from where from from the 14th parish of Jamaica, I have been listening a long time. We don't the truth out there and give the people them left, right, and center and fear. You hear me, I said? Mm -hmm. I'm more, more, I'm more, I'm more, I'm it simple. Me, 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 I said. We don't the truth out there, because I know you know it. Tell the people them, the hide nothing. I'm more, if you don't have to realize who is, I'm more, so I'm just, you come from grassroots. And you know the thing. Well, all right. I'm going to say the government is not a A long time that is for one year. Well, all right. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I didn't ever start with this idea. I was just done with my dick. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm All right. Yes, that, that lady was just called. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Next, <laughs> next one. Good morning. Welcome to Straight Up. Hello. Hi, Jerry. Good morning to you. Yes, ma'am. How are you doing, ma'am? Mm -hmm. Okay, you. And you? Fine, thank you, fine, thank you, how are you? Good, yes. good, good, all yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Um, good morning to your staff there. Yeah. And the Dominican, decent Dominican. Listen. Yeah. I would like Dominican people to, to do this for me. Close themselves with three, with four things. Four things. Courage. Will. Yeah. Perseverance. And skill. Yeah. And once they're closed with these Four things. They'll be better Jamaicans. Mm. You understand me? 
stop the pending on government because today, in today's world, the whole world is in a turmoil. And Jamaica is not burst off. Jamaica is not burst off at all. Right? We still have our sunshine. We still are not getting the amount of rainfall, but we're still getting some rain. Right? And they're good. Right? Jamaica is a blessed little island. Blessed little island. Blessed little island. Right? So let us forget what the government is going on just now and let us do for ourselves. Forget about them and do for ourselves. With the courage, the will, perseverance and skill, we will succeed. We can and we must succeed. Right? This is what I'd like to encourage all Jamaicans to do. You understand? Yeah. So there we look. I hear a lot of, you know, the program to me, I'm going to tell you something now, which is very, it's on the negative side, maybe negative, maybe positive, I don't know, it depends on how you look at it. Two or three years ago, the program was a better program. It has lost its favor. It has lost, right? And what we used to have, even up to two years ago, we're not having it today again. It's gone, it's all gone, right? And think about it. Think about it, all right? Program used to be wonderful one. Wonderful, real good. Not there again. All right, loving? Yeah, I love. So we are... We, we, you very small, eh? We experience a drought. You, you only tell about the love, but it's clouded out water. Yeah, but still water is still here. Water is still every other day. You can get your fresh, big fresh water. Yes, yes. What is here, man? Because they, all they need to do is activate it. all the wells that they have in the air. No, no, you have, it, you, have it, uh, you have it underground, ding dong bell. Yes, it's underground. All they need to do is to get it up, get it up, get it up, get it up to the people. Get it up, yes, okay. Northwest people are not complaining, you know. No complaints from Northwest people, you know. No. But Northwest people are from before I was born. You build your house, you build your town. You understand? I'm not saying 100% people in Northwest Central get. You know, but to be, I'm saying about 90% of the people in Central have tanks. They have their tanks, their tanks. Yeah. You know, so they're independent. And when I was growing up, what they used to do is to dig the ground, you know, and pond, we call it pond. Yeah. Just to dig the ground. And the ground, that, that catchment there would be for the animals, you know. Yes. Right. So we always have water, plus we have our parish tanks and this and that. In All right. Call, call back tomorrow. Now, now wait till the program are done. Thank you very much, Jeremy. Wait till the program. We'll be all in the, 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 the traffic, heavy traffic, Jerry. Don't wait till the program done. Men don't know what, what's going on. Men don't know what's going on with the men. Then they won't give the women a chance to call the program. No, I, uh, you are here from. But call all tomorrow right. early. Love you, love thank, you, love you. Yes, ma'am. Th thank you very much. Right. We have um, We have two text. We have some text messages here. And we, we, and we, we have to go to the program at the bed. Um, text message. Morning, Jerry. I finally got through to Western... Wait, we have some before here. Good morning, Mr. Small. Why is it whenever they talk about reggae music, Bob Marley mentioned more than any other? What about Peter, Ernest Smith and others? Well, you can't um, prevent people from mentioning who they want to mention. It just so happens that more people mention those. It's just, that's how people are different and everybody is not. Nobody planning it up and, and trying to block out anybody else. But um, that's how it is. Next one. Yes, Jerry. Them say your rank. Me like how your rank. If you don't stand up, if you don't stand your ground, them will go walk all over you. Some of them call her, you're too out of order. Next one, one love Jerry. How what is Jerry? What just the system now get no better? Because I imagine them free up the rapists from Dundee Hill St. Elizabeth, where they have the 14 year old girl kidnapped for a year. How what is brother? Oh, that's what they happened. Kidnap her for a whole year. I wonder if it's him, same one, pay the money. Next one, Jerry, the police, them wicked. Next one. Jerry, I, I love your program. Can you explain Nanny of the Maroons? Was she responsible for the death of Bogle and the capture of the runaway slave tanks? Have a blessed day. No, Nanny was long before Bogle. Nanny was long before Bogle. I don't know if she did capture any runaway slave, but she never agreed with plenty of the things that her brother did not agree to. Next time we can check it out more. Next one. Morning, Jerry. I finally got through to Western Campus this morning. Only to be found to be informed that the name Janet Silvera is unknown. Student Shedin Coot was unavailable. No man, Janet Silvera can't be unknown at the Western Campus. I don't think I talk to the right person. Janet Silvera can't be unknown at the Western Campus. Try again with somebody else, please. Next one. Jerry, could you give me the number for Indy? Come, I don't have it here. 
I don't know if we can't get it before the end of the program. Next one. Jerry, all Miss Gloden get fed up with Beth. Sometimes she get too hot for the line. Okay. Next one. Jerry, Jamaicans are not Africans. We are a distinct group of people who are mixed with more than race, including the dominant one black. Well, you decide for yourself. Uh, we have time for one more call. Let us um, let's, let's play the numbers, please. For straight up, we have a choice of number. 702 3470. 702-2585. 702-2585. 9776385. 9776385. 12-3-9-1-888-991-5155. 12-3-1-888-991-5155. Digicel number 618-1823. Digicel 618-1823. All straight lines. Text line 899-7657. Text line 8... Welcome, welcome to Straight Up. Good morning. Jerry. Yeah. The man would just say, I, 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 I... I. And then you turn and say, and, and the lady that was just call, of of him say? You can't use me, I can't make out what you say. Come again. <laughs> but say the man was just talk to you, and him say something about the lady, and you say, and the lady was just call. How will him say about me? No, it's not you. He must talk about a very nice lady who just call. And him like how she talk. It's not you at all. Don't worry yourself. It's not you. What is me? Nobody has never called. Listen, Jerry. No, can't listen. Listen it's tomorrow. Not call not me not tomorrow. Not I want to thank you, though. Friend, I want to thank you. And the next one, we want to call, thank our um, producer, Tanner Richards, our production assistant, Monique Edwards, and our technical operators, Rodian and Ro, and yeah, in studio. Thank you very much. Straight up. <laughs> Time for the midday news here on News Talk 93 FM. I'm Errol Lee. Coming up in this newscast, union representing Gleaner workers concerned about the consequences of Gleaner RJR merger. Jamaican government and Jamaica Confederation of Trade Unions reach agreement for a new wage package. Commonwealth Students Group worried by school fee hike for Jamaican six formers and fruit vendor killed as JUTC bus crashes into building in downtown Kingston.